Find the cracks of reality. That's my that's my mental state after playing this game. I was about to ask if these going to be separate streams. They could be. All right, there we go. That works. Well, that I'd say that's cleared. I don't think there's any visual indication that I've cleared it, but I'd say that's cleared. Um, all right, let's continue onwards. Let's do Nowhere, Michigan next. Yeah, I could split these up, but I'm not going to. It's, it's, nah. Nowhere, Michigan. Nowhere, Michigan is a first-person metro video about a young man named James trying to track down his missing brother Alex after he runs away from home. The narrative takes place in the mysterious town Nowhere, ground zero for a reactor detonation that scarred the local area of supernatural properties. Also, like, Stalker Chernobyl. Blood, gore, body horror, and wizardo. What the hell is wizardo? <laughs> okay. Um, alright. Let's do it. Good night, Epic. Fever Dream Softworks. Okay. I will assume that most things will run better than what we just played. Listen, the 2021 Haunted PS1 demo also had a really shitty game called No Players Online or something. I don't remember what it was called exactly. It ran, It was a shitty game. Really shitty game. Didn't run like shit, but just was a shitty game. Shitty message. Dial. Uh, it, it, you ever play a game where characters cuss unnecessarily to sound more edgy and cool? Not wizardry, wizardo. Anyways, let's play shitty key. Okay, here we go. Another observation. The games that give you settings are typically the games that run fine anyways. I'm gonna leave everything alone. Okay, let's start a new game. This seems this seems interesting. What's this about? Let's see. James, where are you going? You're not seriously... Hey, you're gonna look for Alex, aren't you? You know the police are worthless. They gave up after a month. They don't care. James, I can't lose you too. Please. I made Alex leave. It's my fault this happened in the first place. I need to make it right. James, your father, I mean... You can't blame yourself. Everyone was in shock. Nothing justifies what happened. I need to find Alex. James, please, don't. So I'm gonna be fine, Mom. Alex and I will be back before Thanksgiving. I promise. Hmm. Yes, if you are- if any of you are suffering from delay, do give it a quick refresh, it should be fine. A game by Fever Dream Johnny. Huh. I was gonna say, this sounded like psych psychedelic rock. Okay. Pause it on pause, fix it. That works too. Look, look at this, look at this game running like a game. Isn't that great? Isn't that cool? Nowhere crossing. Okay. What do we got? Hey, look, it's not overload. Of, like, also, that's another thing that bothers me. E to interact with objects. Another thing that bothered me about Mother is, um... Well, it didn't fit the PS1 aesthetic. You know, this is the hot PS1 demo disc. I would kind of hope... I don't expect all these games to run exactly like native PS1 hardware. But the closer they get to that, the better, I'd say, you know? Now, that game was definitely not with all the stupid effects it had. Those, you would not see that on the PS1. So, I don't know. Personally, if I'm going to be playing the Haunted PS1 demo disc, I'd like the games to kind of remind me of the PS1 a little bit. Crazy, I know, but... Hello, I am local. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> I am a local. You're looking for your brother? Yeah, I haven't seen him. Sorry. Not everyone has useful stuff to say, you know. You should learn to, to like, pick and choose what matters for pe people say. Okay. Hello, very thin policeman. Confiscating mushrooms for the nearby citizens. Reporting truffles to the local authorities. The officer really snaps out of his face looks at you. You're looking for your brother? Uh, yeah, I don't know anything about that. Sorry. What are you staring at me for? It's my, not my job to find missing people. 
Wait, well, is that because my full name is Police Officer that I have to help you? I guess not. Hi. Deep within the woods, I sleep upon my rotten wooden heap through nasty gross and slimy sema. I tickle my flaps and my spores will fly! Deep within the woods, I sleep upon my rotten wooden heap through nasty gross and slimy sema. I tickle my flaps and my spores will fly! Okay, you just keep repeating yourself and stop that. <laughs> I, I can't stop. I can't stop him. I can't stop him! Alright, I'm just gonna walk away from this. He just won't stop talking about his spores. Move by it looks more detailed than PS. Yeah, see, it doesn't have to be perfect, though. The frame rate's higher, too. Like, Reporting back to base. Enemy combatant suppressed. This bush won't be hurting anyone anymore. Uh, okay. What the hell is going on here? Can you tell me something, cult leader wizard? Oh, what newcomer? Welcome to our humble little town. Wonderful. My name is Wizardo the Average. I'm the town wizard. Oh, you want me to cast a spell? Well, I'm not that kind of wizard. It's more of an honorary tile. Anyway, you're looking for your brother, right? Yes, I saw my scryed orb, and no, I don't know where it is. he is. My orb broke. Yes, orbs can break. It happens all the time. Sorry I can't help you, but I can give you some sage advice. Okay, what's this? Oh, it's a save point. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. There's, like, proper saves? How long is this? Keep an eye out for my brothers, civilian. They are raising the rounds for truffles of untold value. Okay, there's a clown here. Boo Boo the Fool. Honk honk! Boo Boo the Fool here to report this is the official Nowhere Clown Corner! What was once an ordinary patch of grass, now the eminent domain of me, Boo Boo the Clown! Honk honk! <laughs> the clown smiles at you excitedly, eyes sparkly of unbound joy. You resist the violent urge to hit the clown. Okay, this game is fucking weird in a good way. <laughs> also, yeah. The developer's name was like Fever Dream, so it kind of fits that we're having a real psychedelic vibe to this game. Contemplate the fungus. Please report any truffles to your local authorities. Uh, what do we have here? Mr. Monkey, is this your tower? Tower Monkey, it is! Ah! This tower brings worth to my cold monkey heart. Okay, good. I just wanted to confirm that was yours. Now I know it's his, that's, I'm satisfied. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Okay, there's a there's a eye building up there, and there's a tower there. What do I want to go first? Let's see. Can I even climb this? Nope. Can I, can I jump the cloud? Nope. No collision. Yeah, this is fucking weird, and I love it. All right, let's go in the tower. All right, tower time. What's in here? See, what a like, ah, I like. This game is being silly, and yet this is more pretty than what anything in the previous game had. Mother had all these visual effects to try to look pretty, but this, in my opinion, is way prettier. I like this. This is this is a vibe right here. Especially the birds. Oh, look, at the, look at the leaves. I vibe with this. Come on. Can I... Oh, I can't open that. Oh, wait, that was the... Wait. Manifold... Wait. Grand Library Junks... Wait a minute. Manifold Ruins. Okay, hold on. What's this? While midair, press space again to perform a double jump. Oh, nice. Oh, hello again. Good to see you. Uh, James, was it? Well, I seem to be quite a pickle. My wife, Esmeralda the Great, hasn't been particularly thrilled with my hobbies, which happens to be candy collection. And, uh, well, let's just say I had a certain bar of chocolate called Schlarp Crunch to trademark, and she threw it out. Oh, God, I wish I had my delicious chocolate bar. Oh. He needs his chocolate for the wizardry. Well, I have, a, I have a double jump now. That's cool. I guess I'll help him with that. Kind of gives me Zelda vibes. Yeah, I, I, you know, a little bit. Let's look around this place. I, I'm not sure. Wizard, Wizardo's Monkey Pit Challenge. All right. What's this? Down below is my infamous monkey pit. I keep all my bastard monkeys down there where they can't hurt anyone. Can I go down there? That sounds like a cool place. I have a double jump now, so I guess I'll... I'm sorry, are these little people? Look at the little people. Ah. Okay, cool. Hi. Look, look, look! I'm afraid of heights. Give me down, please! Ah! Okay, um... 
I got a new item. Tab. Oh, that's a cute. That's a cute way of doing an inventory. Wait a minute. Hold on. General lore upgrades characters key items. Oh my. How long is this? I, I don't mind if this is long. It's, I'm kind of vibing with it. I should probably go down to the monkey pit, huh? I, I mean, I don't even know what we're doing. Oh, I, I left the tower somehow. Well, that was weird. Okay. I am actually quite vibey with this. What do you guys think of it so far? Where's this door go? I'll check in a second. First, I want to go down. Eek eek! I love leaf! So much fun with leaf! Uh, okay. Eek eek! I love leaf! Okay, you guys like leaves. Got it. Leaf. Oh, informative monkey. You do not belong here. This is the monkey pit. Alright, this is informative monkey signing off. What? What? Informative monkey has logged off. Uh. Okay. <laughs> sure enough. Looks like there's only one way out of here. Alright. Oh, wait, actually, no, there isn't. There's two ways out. What's this? A strange red hatch. Looks like a small invitation to those sides can be filled if I had the right item. I mean, maybe a key? Equipped. Slumber Decree key. Okay. Is that not a keyhole? It kind of looked like a keyhole. Apparently it's not. It does look kind of weird. I don't know if it necessarily looks like a keyhole, so fair enough, I guess. I guess that's not the solution. Okay, oh, let's bring this back here. Fair enough. Gordon Ramsay mode with five actual edible content shoot. Finally, some good fucking games. <laughs> Let's go over here. This place is kind of. I like this place. It, the Grab Library Junction has a nice vibe to it. Let's see what's in here. Also, I like our movement speed. It's nice and quick. Like, we're not wasting time here. Huh. Oh, I can't climb this. Okay. Jumpy challenge. Tim the Toolman Taylor? Miner. It's not my fault! Please don't fire me! Please don't! What's a miner doing in the library? <laughs> Sorry, the route's closed. We had a bit of an incident with the polter our poltergeist and decided to blow the entire entrance up. If we had some mining equipment, we could break through, but it's all trapped in the mines. If you brought something that could destroy these rocks, I'm sure you can get in. I guess I'll save. Is this a... Is... So there's a... So this game has a gun, right? Like, that was... Like, its iconography was a gun. So is this a shooter? Or is it an adventure game? Or is it both? All right, well, we can't do anything else here. I know that much. And that's fine. It's up here. Shh, he's sleeping. Oh, tomb uh, Tombstone's being a good guy, dude. He's trying to, he's not letting people wake up his bro. All right, let's see here. Oh, here's a drink machine. Hello. This vending machine is quietly humming all by itself. It doesn't appear to be plugged in, but it works nonetheless. Looks like they have just one bar of sharp crunch registry mark in the entire machine. Looks like they were trying to buy it, but ran out of money. Just 25 cents short of the total bill. Wish I had a quarter. What a shame. Noted. Adventure game and guns used to solve puzzles. Well, the puzzle of murdering things that are in your way, is, that's one solution. We'll see if we get a gun. Local, local, big juicy ash. Ass. What? <laughs> I sat in a bubble bee and now I have the most scrump, su sumptuous ass in the entire town. All men envy me and all women want to be me. 
That's all you have to do, I guess. Too bad I have allergies. Officers have a great sense of smell for both crime and truffles, the latter of which is your bread to search for in depth forest. They bred for and search for death for us. Thanks for talking. Wait, they breed. <laughs> they breed police officers to find truffles. Okay. Rats. I need the garden key to open this. All right. Nothing much I can do up here. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go to the other side then. Officers are called pigs by subcultures. Oh, good point. Actually, I, I kind of missed that one. But you are correct. Oh, by the way, I never looked at this, but that's sus. There's a there's a door there. Remember that lo one? There was one. Uh, the, the one of the Looney Tunes reboot shows, the more recent ones, had Porky have to hunt for truffles at one point, and it's like super demeaning. I like to stand near this really scary building. I know what's in there, but the mayor still has some kind of weird energy barrier. The energy barrier makes me high when I'm around it. I haven't told any of the office other officers yet. It's my little secret. Please don't tell them about my energy barrier life hack. It's the only thing I have to out to myself on this bitch of an earth. <laughs> on this bitch of an earth. <laughs> Ah, uh, what a way to put it. An accurate too. Hello, monkey. Sexual monkey. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I am feeling vaguely sexual at this moment. Convincing mating operation. Stand by. Uh, I'll be on my way. Thank you. I'd, I'd like to keep this, this stream clean. Thanks. I like this too. What the fuck is going on? Hello. Oh. Ooh. That's mildly trippy. I want to see if I can talk to the eye. I cannot talk to the eye. Is there anything in here? No. <gasps> a quarter! A single quarter! How incredible! Someone must have flicked it up here by accident. How the hell did they do that? Mm -hmm. This is good. This is LSD. Yeah, it really is kind of LSD jam territory. I agree with you on that one. I like it. All right, we've got. I've got a quarter. Time to crack this puppy open. Indeed, I guess I got to open the. The one thing I have to complain about is the inventory takes a second. But all right, so it's time to give myself a bar of sharp crunch. The chorus lots of the machine with an enormous ceremony. After a few feverish moments, a sudden thump announces the chocolate bar's arrival into the item box. And with that, a delicious bar of sharp crunch is in my hands. I cannot believe how great today has been. Too bad we have to give it up. Let's look at it though. A delicious bar of Schlarp Crunch, featuring the Schlarpy boy in all of his glory. Never say those words together again. Each bar is crafted by German confectionaries of Germany, the homeland of delicious chocolate. Supposedly, each bar of Schlarp Crunch contains the delicious flavor of domestic tragedy. Oh. Um, okay then. Well, as long as it's being used for good purposes. Guess what, wizard? Germany has really good chocolate, though. Right here. Wait, is that a bar of sharp crutch you have there? Oh, I could. Could I have it, please? You're slightly struck with a sense of empathy you've never experienced before. How could you not give it to him? You quietly sip the bar to his trembling hands of the half hearted smile. You love sharp crutch, but you're compelled to do the right thing. The wizard quivers as he stares at the bar of astonishment. He gingerly peels the wrapper back and gazes at the exposed chocolate longingly. <laughs> He carefully lifts the bar up and wraps his mouth around the sweet goodness. He begins talking, taking small bites like a swirl of a nut. His why is water. You don't know how long he's been without Sharp Crutch, but you can tell as he's suturing a deep wound in his heart. He's completely focused on the bar now, like an Olympian sprinter riding the track. He's in ecstasy. After a mere, finally, after a mere couple nibbles, he turns his attention back to you, his wizened eyes watering. I'm, I'm at a loss of words. You're so kind, so utterly gracious. I don't know what I can do for you, but... Thank you. He quietly returns to the bar, sniffling as he takes the tiniest bites possible, trying to savor each and every morsel for as long as he can. <laughs> Rosardo quietly attends to the candy bar. I think I did a good thing today. Oh, that didn't give me anything, though. I was hoping that would get me something. Hmm.
Well, gee, what am I supposed to do now, you think? Also, like, I like how, like, I'm more invested in the dialogue for this game than I am for Mother. <laughs> Even though this game's dialogue is obviously, you know, satirical. <laughs> this is still well written, though. Hmm. Did I leave anything in the car? Oh, I want to show you that. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do now. Hello there, Justinator. Welcome. Oh wait, maybe the red key opens this actually. Oh yeah, it totally does. I, I, I he's the policeman said force fill, and I immediately did not think about my key. I was like, oh, it's a force fill. Well, I can't use a key on a force fill. No, I could totally use this. I could totally do that. Unlock the mirror of the slumber district key. Okay. Hi, drink machine. You break all of your fingers attempting to operate the vending machine. Ow. Just kidding. Anyway, the machine seems to be stocked with various sodas. One strange item catches your eye. A vial with a heart inside of it. Halloween Roller Skating Carnival. What's this? Huh. Odd. Keller self decapitation. Whoa. Don't mix them. Gas and liquor. October's brought the something. Huh. I can tell the developer of this game likes psychedelic things, you know? The music is a dead giveaway. The fact he has this, the subtitle Fever Dream in his name, too. And you know what? I'm down for some psychedelic visuals now and then, too. Whoa. This is my philosopher. Welcome to the slumber district. Th thanks, I guess. Your voice, though. Well, that could be a Badger Kazooie character that with that voice. <laughs> Flame Ghost. I'm at my wicks end staying here all the time. You should have seen how dark this place was before I got my job. Let's keep the battle light. I gotta stay on guard. Sometimes in the heat of the moment, I imagine myself as an even bigger flame. A little bit of vice. Play it cool up ahead. Okay. I know this developer likes drugs. Yeah, and that's kind of great, actually, <laughs> for this case. Kikiki, whoop! Welcome to my home! I, I love meat! I love meat, too, but I don't usually say it that way. Huh. So... This is four. Kind of. Technician monkey. Ook, ook! Ah, I'm stuck! Ah! It's okay, you'll be absorbed by the bloodstream. Hi. The creature stands staring at you like a deer in the headlights. You get the impression it wants to use Venge to access the vein above you for some reason. Venge? Press right mouse when near a purple vein to travel along it. Oh, what is this I just obtained? The seed of a parasitic plant that allows me to enter veins and travel to inaccessible areas. <coughs> what appears to be a face is actually a set of grooves where a warm, dry air escapes. Supposedly this is the beginning of a Venge night bloom, a larger scavenging plant that recycles rotting biomatter. Oh. Okay. So now we can use the... Oh, hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> Vending monkey. I love vending machines. You quite look at the machines. They are all seem to be broken. It's his fault, probably. You get the vibe that this little creature wants you to know that Venge streams are one way, no going back. Okay. What a... This game is bizarre, and I like it. I like it. There's like a thing up there. Hmm. 
You stare intently at the centerpiece of this room. The fountain feels nervous. Malicious entity feels embarrassed. Plus five to intimidation. Hell yeah. I can max out my intimidate stat right here. Okay, well obviously I want to use that, but what's that? What happens if I... Okay, it just restarts you. Yeah, okay. Neat. Wait, hold on. Oh, Nox Basin. Hello, scuba diver. The hell diver regards you shyly. A pair of glowing red eyes flicker nervously behind its visor before it bends down to adjust its weight belt. Huh. Okay, hell diver it is. Oh. You know, it's interesting how often this cube shows up in horror games for the PS1 stuff. I mean, we've seen it before. Like, remember that fishing game I played with the PS1 aesthetic? That was one of the baits, actually, this thing right here. It showed up in other horror games as well, but the weird thing is its true origins, um, it seems to either be directly from or very heavily based on Mischief Makers for the N64, which had a bunch of blocks of faces very similar to this that also flashed. Morning cube. It's 11. I guess so. Oh, whoops. I think, as far as the PS1 horror games go, they, they've been in some PS1 horror games for a while, this particular thing. I don't know where it originates from as far as PS1 horror games go, but it is so strikingly similar to the Mission Maker uh, blocks that you just see around some levels. Ducky. Yoopoo, I'm Decker, what up? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what up? <laughs> Chief Monkatech. Hello, Chief Monkatech here. We're still working on building this beautiful Corumbra Basin now, so stay tuned. Enjoy your swim. Okay. Hmm. Tree on a boat. This hell diver stands awkwardly in the corner, toying with some strange relic it found on the ground. It stops to quietly stare at you, continuing watching the hell diver. It fills a nerve and begins shifting its weight from side to side. Finally, the hell diver musters the courage to finally say something to you. Hello. Feeling anxious, it begins to hastily fiddling with its relic to calm itself down. I see. Scuba Steve. Sheep, we've found recovered some strange sarcophagus. It seems the ancients use quarters to open these. <laughs> Whatever that is. If you find a quarter, bring it here. Give, let's give it her a shot. Just hand it to me and I'll take care of the rest. Okay. I'll let you know. <laughs> okay, let's go down the little trench here. Uh, what is going on here, guys? A Helldaver amalgam. The birthplace of all hell divers. You suddenly recall various facts about this species. Despite their ominous appearance, hell divers are a timid species who spend much of their time quietly collecting rare resources underwater. Their amorphous colonial bodies are well suited to intense pressure. They can survive as deep as the gulch deaths where they can reach their natural limit. Despite being a colonial species, hell divers identify themselves as individuals. They revert back to their community mindset when heavily damaged, though. Hell diver reproduction occurs through partial fragmentation, forming an amalgam. Multiple divers can contribute to an amalgam to diversify its gen genetics. Hell divers will form mating bonds with multiple members in order to protect their amalgam until maturation, at which point more hell divers are born. Hell divers are of a relatively short lifespan of 50 years, but pass down the places of their memory to their offspring. Some memories can be thousands of years old. Hell divers can change their physiology freely. When interacting with human societies, hell divers will attempt to appear more human. This is thought to be a defense mechanism of some sort. In nature, they can be seen as changing shape to confuse predators. Some of the more extroverted hell divers will customize their bodies to stand out. These same divers tend to bond with humans easier. Oops, you've heard out memories on hell divers. Maybe you can learn more if you talk to a couple. They don't bite, trust me. Okay. Hope oh, this is the same dialogue. Same for each one of these? I guess so. Hi. Sunken armor. How'd you like to be a knight? Just climb on in and fill me up. Don't be shy. Mm, that's right. Stretch out my rivets. I am disturbed. <laughs> Empty armor is just like, fill me. Hey, Aristler. 
you came at a good time. We're playing something good. Okay, I don't see I don't see a quarter around here. I was looking. See if we could find one, but no quarters here. Maybe over here. Hell, Michigan. Ah, okay. What? Oh. This hell diver seems to stiff it up as you approach. After signing, you're not probably not a threat. It begins to relax. Welcome to Hell, Michigan. It's our homeland. Hope you like it. Thanks, dude. Oh shit, I can go out of bounds here. Might have to do that. It appears to, it appears to just let me. So I'm gonna guess there's a secret out here. I'll check the uh, main area first, why not? I love the music choices. Huh, this vending machine looks strange. A labor proudly renounces the machine as a vendor of exotic treats. Actually, a closer inspection, you realize this machine is stocked with candy and drinks you've never seen before. International experts? One thing causes your eyes to violently bulge out of your head. A unique flavor of Sharp Crunch you've never seen before. Yes, looks like a German exclusive version of Sharp Crunch Cookie Madness. Oh, we gotta get that to the wizard. You see a hell diver of strange attachments, attachments on its flippers without looking up and regards you. See all that water? It's actually hell either. It's where all hell divers first spawned from. Only hell divers can swim in it without sinking to the bottom. You need a special pair of augmented flippers to navigate the water safely. I wear a part because it's my job to drink people who've fallen in back to the surface. Without the flippers, you folks would be too heavy to carry. Oh, so I can't swim here? Fair enough. Thanks for saving me, hell diver. Uh, let's see. What do we have here? I love sewer! Oh, that's nice. I, sewers are okay, I guess. Okay, that leaves... I'm gonna explore out of bounds, so obviously. So we can clearly do that, which means there's clearly a reason to, so... Let's just hop up here. Oh, it's not even out of bounds, really. It's just... Moderator! And with that, let the 27th after Afterlife debate begin. Alright, candidates, let's hear opening statements. Religious clan. I believe in the afterlife, Chief! It interests me greatly! Okay, what about you? Atheist clan. I don't believe in Afterlife, Chief! It doesn't interest me at all! <laughs> Alright. Good. What is the policeman here to oversee the debate? Truffle Hunter. I'm looking for Hell Truffle. Some say it's the most valuable truffle of all, worth a thousand, ten thousand gold. If you find it, I'll have to handcuff you. Hell Truffle's police property. Well, see, if you don't, you don't even own it! <laughs> oh, hey, there's a secret vein here. All right. I know it's a hot take, but war is bad. Anyway, thanks for coming to talk to me. I've unlocked a secret somewhere in the world for you. Oh, th thanks for that, I, I think. Um, a secret. It's unlocked for me. Somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where. Well, good thing I noticed that. It was actually semi-transparent. What's that over there? When I can dive in the hell water, maybe I'll find out. For now, I shall be rescued. There we go. Okay. Let's look around a bit more. My job is hell! Haha! <laughs> Just kidding. I love my job. I like being out here. Please don't tell the hell divers who made that joke about their home. They'll be really upset. <laughs> oh. Noted. One moment. What the hell? Strange baby-like entity. Do you like mysteries? I'm trying to figure out why my head won't stop growing. I don't like you. Okay, so there's a secret there. Before I do that, though. So those are one-way mines, so I want to look around a bit more. I can actually tell. Oh, good. Yeah, that's right. 
Is there anything, anything else I missed around here? I do like how casually I can just go out of bounds. I, I appreciate that, honestly. Sorry, what, where does this go? Despite looking like, well, a baby, this entity is clearly very, very old. Tummy Scrumple 76, grasp at your arm. Young one, I do not know if I can continue. I believe this is my final resting spot. This world, this world is coming apart. Daddy was too strong for us. Please, figure out how to stop it before, before it's too late. Michigan must live on. <coughs> he descends into a horrible coughing fit before going limp. You can tell that he's quietly keeping one eye cracked open to monitor your reaction. Okay, well, I got a quarter. I needed that. Tummy scrumples. You quietly stare at the machine. Doesn't it look like it takes quarters? No, it don't looks like it's only euros! What madness is this? If only you're somehow small enough to squeeze inside of the machine to pull a candy out. Time to go micro! But first, uh... Let's see, can I even backtrack, actually? I don't know if I can. Let's try. I think I can't, so I think I need to loop around to that other machine, but to do that I need to backtrack, but we we spawned in this area and it's like It's a dead end, so we can't really come kinda of do that. Can't really do that. So I guess forward is the only way. Goddamn bureaus, man. They're so not USD currency, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Oh! Alright, let's go back in! <sighs> See, stop recording the stream, I'll be able to get the heart file. Oh no, I have a choice. Guys, do I want to give a quarter- Do I want to put a quarter in this to get the heart file? Or... Do I want to go that one room with the hell diver where he said to put a quarter in the machine? Do I want to give the quarter to the hell diver and do that machine, or do I want to do this machine? What do you guys think? Also, I can take this now. I'd say that I want one more interested in the diver one too. Oh, hey, that just leads here too. Okay. Could be it. Let me save. This is actually a pretty surprisingly involved adventure game. You. Yeah, yeah. You're the guy that wants the quarter. So let's do that. What? A quarter? Where'd you find that? This is exactly what we need to solve this mystery. He hands Scuba Ski the quarter and he tries pushing the various grooves on the machine. You quietly grab his hand and guide to the co coin slot. He nods professionally, though you know he feels a bit self conscious about his blunder. I've tried to push the quarter in. No luck. Ha, huh, looks like this isn't it. Hmm, well, thanks for letting me try anyway. See, so presses the quarter back into your palm and shove it back. You shove it back in your pocket. No dice, I guess. Hmm. Well, chief, I, I guess the starf cockles will be sold for the foreseeable future. Maybe we can crane out and crack with a saw. Thanks anyway. You're welcome. Well, at least I have my quarter still, I guess. I can't interact with them anymore. All right. Well, so be it then. Like, well, I mean, let's narrow down how we use the quarter. I am glad we used it there first, though, because, I mean, yeah, extra dialogue, why not? Alright, let's get a heart file. The tip was made. It was. I wonder when the gun will come into play. Alright. Okay, there we go. Take the core out of your pocket and look at it. No time like the present. See if it'll do you any good. You skillfully insert into the machine and smash the button combo for the heart caster of your fingers. Miraculously, your fingers weren't broken for this operation. The caster comes out, you grab it. Immediately it disappears, and you feel a sudden rush of vitality. Incredible. It's supposed to be what it feels what it's like to overdose on life. Cool, what's that do for us? Did 
That's a good question, considering I have no items from it. I mean, we had a little visual effect. So that that's kind of neat. I'm going back through here just because I'm curious about something. Okay, yeah, nothing else. I guess let's just go through and we'll go out the other end and Yeah the, the, the speaking of crowbars, the Euro machine might indeed need something like that, who knows? Oh thanks, sluggers. Love my streams? That's cool. Thank you very much for that. I hope everybody's doing well today. I'm glad we're now playing a good game right after that last one we played. All right, so I have the blue key, and I also, uh, that's about it, actually. So, uh, I think the blue key was... Actually, now I think about it, I have no idea. Did we see a blue key slot somewhere? Games are better than PowerPoints, this is true. It's up here? Is it around here? That's the door. That door leads to... I mean, there's... there is this. But I don't have the right item for it. Oh, thank you very much, yeah. Uh, thank you very much, Nanny. blue key door somewhere, wasn't there? I just don't remember where. Let's see. Maybe it was over here. Oh, no, it was over here, wasn't it? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, this game, I like this game. Yeah, let's go in here. Garden key. You know, it's very obvious that this is just a rotating, you know, image, but that looks really cool. How you have this mixing with a dithering, I like that. Again, it's not about the... You don't have to use high-performance graphics to make something that looks cool. eeky ka gook Wait, what did that say? Welcome to the Scuba Steve Guided Tour of the Garden. Come see our gift shop. Neat. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Watch your step, huh? 
No, seriously, you'll rot below us and in, 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 uh, the rot below us is highly toxic, you'll die if you fall in. Oh, sh uh, okay. <laughs> Guess I'll try to avoid that. <laughs> Nerve blooms are an essential bottom feeder in the ecosystem. Their central ganglia can be harvested and used in salads. Oh, delicious. Have you seen a nerve cradle before? They're what they're what these delicate meaty plants are trying to grow into. They have mouths for filter feeding, presumably. Delish delicious to eat with. Some mouth? Glad you can make it. This cradle's mouth is wide open and it's presently emitting a smell like fresh veins. How horrible! Anyway, I'll see you inside. I, okay, hold on. Let's see what this is doing. This seems to be a nerve as well, but I don't think I can use it. How unnerving. Alright, I guess in we go then. A lot of, a lot of organicness to this game, isn't there? All right. Nerve cradle interior. What's that here? Okay. What's in here? It's safe. It's fine. <gasps> it is gun. Hello? What? There's no way. Who are you? Oh, this is... You could talk? That's adorable. I said, who are you? I'll shoot! Hold on, my name is James. What the fuck are you? I... I don't really... I don't really remember anything. I think my name is Concord. Concord, alright, look. Just calm down. Don't shoot me, please. I'll just put you back down now. I'll need to keep looking for my brother. Wait, you're looking for your brother? What does he look like? Uh, his name's Alex. He's kind of tall, got a lean body, long curly hair. I don't know, really know how to explain it. He just kind of looks like an Alex. Alex, that sounds familiar. I think I've seen that guy before. Wait, you have? How long ago was it? Did he say why he came to nowhere? Did he tell you where he was going? Was he okay? I don't remember. I can barely remember anything. Oh god, what do I do? What do I do? Look, I need to keep moving. It's urgent. I got time to talk with an amnesiac gun. Wait, can you bring me with you? I can't move on my own. I really don't want to stay here. I mean, look around. Please take me with you. I can help you. I guess war help couldn't hurt. So your gun, do you like shoot bullets or something? Yeah, well, I... What the hell? <laughs> oh. Holy shit! <laughs> Concord allows you to protect yourself. Use the left mouse when you shoot. Oh my god, okay, new mechanics. Incomplete angel, embryonic god, okay. Oh, that's why we got the hat. We have 125 health because of the heart caster, don't we? We would have had 100 probably otherwise. I wonder if it's hard. is this eye a weak point? I feel like it is. Oh, it is absolutely a weak point. High on life, but good. Kind of, yeah. So I shoot him in the eye when his eye is available. Oh wait, hold on. No, I shoot him in the heart. Was high on life bad? I had to shoot the eye, but now I have to shoot the heart. Pretty easy to dodge. Incomplete angel, desperate believer. What? Change his title. Ah! This music. Whoa, 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 hold on. Desperate Believer, okay. Its title, keep, subtitle keeps changing, that's interesting. Oof. 
Jesus Christ, what the hell was that thing? I don't know. We're going to have to find more of those things, aren't we? Only one way to find out. Let's go find your brother. I knew it. That's I knew it. Demo complete. Oh, or is it? Well, we did unlock a secret or something. Okay, so this actually seems like a game I'd like to play the full version of. Especially since once they introduce the gunplay, it's like, oh, that has a new dimension to this. Like, I was wondering if it would be an adventure game mixed with a shooter, and it does seem to be that. We don't actually have a lot of those when you think about adventure game shooters. It's a good concept. Now that you have the gun, there's more secret stuff to find. I knew it. And also, High in Life was bad. Was was High in Life made by Rick and Morty developers or whatever? I know the Rick and Morty guys made some VR games, and High in Life kind of gave, gave me the vibe that it was kind of Rick and Morty-ish, like trying to be like that, from what I know about it. They kind of have a style, which you can, even though I haven't watched Rick and Morty, it's kind of easy to pick it out. Alright, let's continue. So now we have the gun. This is, uh, I'm intrigued by this one. See, this game is a game I'd like to, you know, maybe buy. Sorry, I think I've been in the wrong place. Look, it's an easy mistake to make, alright? I wonder if I can lose health now that I have a health bar. I'm not supposed to be here, but here I am! I've come to give you a helpful little upgrade for later! This is a jet stream. It lets you do a dash in midair! You can press the sprint key to activate it! You aren't supposed to get the jet stream this early, but I thought it would be a nice little gift to thank you for playing my demo! Notice how your health bar becomes a blue shield? You're invincible while dashing. Keep that in mind. Now I must disappear! Back into the code! And with that, monkey is, the monkey is gone. I can use jet stream to do a dash that makes me invincible. Thanks, monkey! Okay. It can be used on the ground or in midair. Also, there's two charges. Nice. Another game you play where you're a cleaner trying to help people in a strange landscape. I don't remember, but yes, I know what you mean. It, this is remind me of some stuff too. I mean, let's keep playing. Uh, let's see what else we can find. He's just saying the same things he always says. All right. I knew it. Whoa. Kelly? <laughs> I can shoot the monkey. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. I thought, aha, I can make him bleed. <laughs> it's okay, I don't like monkeys anyways. Genocide <laughs> I mean, I guess we could. Um, it's okay, nobody cares about the monkeys. There's a pit of them. <laughs> we could destroy everyone, but I don't know, should we? You know, fuck it, genocide root it is. Do you think it'll come back, like, between loads? Or do you think it's perfect? To be fair, it might be the only way to unlock secrets, so... Yeah, it yeah, might unlock something. I'm just gonna see if. Yeah, he comes back. Never mind. It's it's fine. It's not permanent. They're okay. So I can murder. I can murder as much as I want. It's fine. It has no reper <laughs> no repercussions. <laughs> Hold on a minute. I just realized something. The world where monkey slide into you has ended, though. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> this is pretty good. Uh, I want to try something real fast. Ah, oh, I can't stand on it. I was wondering if I could maybe stand on that. 
I mean, I guess murder is a potential path forward, so... I mean, even if they come back, and there might be something to gain from... Maybe if I shoot that machine that only takes heroes, I'll show it a thing or two. Wait, you guys weren't here before. Who am I? Who am I? The prince, the prince's dream guy. Why, I'm the prince's dream guy! When dreaming prince dreams easily, he dreams until he dreams of me! But when sleeping saint fits sleeps fitfully, a nightmare comes for all to see. Do not wake his princely eyes, this will kill saint's dream of guy. What? And with that, dream of guy vanishes from reality. Little saint prince silently stares at me, providing a mere smile at his observer's demise. Oh god, I can't kill him. Ah, uh, run away. He's scary. Was there a door here before? No. No, there wasn't. Um. Spaghetti. I think this is a meme picture, but what a fucking ominous vibe it's creating. <laughs> Hi. Oh, it's Peep! Peep shivers slightly. Carefully scoop up and put him in your briefcase. He'll be safer there. What? Wait, what did that say on the middle of the screen? I was- I could- I missed that. What did it say? I'm sure somebody read it. <laughs> he stares at you gratefully. You have no idea what horrors he's witnessed while trapped inside the fabricated labyrinth. Thank God you saved him. It's a creepypasta. Oh my fucking God. Did anybody catch what it said in the middle, though? Oh, oh? Oh. He has no practical use, but it's good you saved him. Fair enough. I mean, it's good to save people, right? <laughs> I guess. How long is this gun's range? Yeah, pretty far. <laughs> Mr. Sprout, hello, brother. Please bury me. I need to be in the ground. Oh. Um. Where, though? The ceiling of some larger platform. Implanted in a compatible space, Mr. Sprout is capable of adapting to many different forms, which may or may not be helpful for me. It's worth the chance, I suppose. Um. What's the right place, then? Mr. Officer just stands there with his hands on his hips. I guess I offended him somehow? I guess so. Where should I plant him, though? I don't like how certain entities are invincible, like clouds, apparently. Oh, you're new. Oh, hello. I'm just passing through trying to find my friend Peeb and all that jazz. Have you seen him? He's a, well, I guess I would say he looks like a cloud of an elephant drunk. Oh, he only screams motor and otherwise just screams. Uh, anyways, uh, <coughs> yeah, I've got nothing else to say. Oh, actually, do you know where I can get something to eat? I'm kind of hungry. Well, I have your Peeb. Here you go. Oh, wow, you found Peeb. That's great. I was wondering where the little scamp got off to. Guess I have to keep closer eye on than I thought. You're welcome, I guess. Also, okay, he's invincible too. If they're important, they're invincible. I'm sorry to learn this. Did we see any place to plant the head thing? If you guys can think of anything, I'll just let me know. Maybe here? They're also invincible, okay. Clouds are just immortal. I mean, 
Yeah, I guess that's true. Well, let's see. I guess uh, I go back to the that dimension. We go back to the tower. Oh yeah, the tower. We'll probably go somewhere that way. Actually, let's do that. The boulder area. Yeah, that's that's definitely true. I'm trying to think of maybe there's a place to plan and beyond that. Actually, that would make sense. You know what, actually? Nope, still empty. Let's go through this area. Also, this is cool. I, I do like this game. I freed, I freed the stuck monkey. I'm such a hero. Yeah, man. Shadow specters are invincible. Go figure. It's kind of interesting to figure out what is invincible, what is it? I felt bad, the Helldivers are just kind of nice guys. <laughs> but, you know what? You gotta be thorough. Ducky? Fuck you, Ducky. How's it going here? The Australian man quietly stares at the vending machine, wondering how to get it out of the basin. You leave him to solve this challenge alone. You won't now. <laughs> ah, the amalgam clumps are invincible. Go figure. <laughs> that guy makes a different sound because he's not a man. He's uh, just a suit of armor. Nice. It makes sense. Okay, maybe if I, uh... You know, that guy had a useful item I killed- wait, hold on. Oh, he still saves me somehow. I don't know how he did that, considering I killed him, but, you know. If only you were small enough to squeeze inside the machine to pull the candy out. Wait. Get in there. You quietly looked out of your briefcase at Mr. Sprout. Maybe he can fit in there and get the Cookie Madness bar. No, brother, I know what you're thinking, but my head is too big. Please find someone else. Shame, Mr. Sprout will be of no help here. Oh no, maybe Peep would have done it. They did say he was useless, though. Just thinking. It's interesting to figure out what's invincible and what's not here. Huh? 
don't know. Peep didn't seem that small, though, thinking about it. All right, back to the wizard. Well, Peep is just hanging out. Hi, Peep. Peep stares at you joyfully. He's very grateful you rescued for that nightmare. You're a good person. The world loves you for it. Good. I'm glad I'm a good person. Orb stares vacantly. He seems pretty dark hungry. What, what, what I could bring him to say is hunger. I don't know many restaurants around here, to be honest. Okay, so hunger... Okay. See, I have the tower immortal. Uh, what? Oh, that tower. Yeah, I tried shooting it. Nothing happened. All right, let's uh, let's see here. <laughs> He's still eating the candy bar. Well, uh, no more wizard for the town now. <laughs> At least his last moments were happy, because <laughs> he had the candy bar. <laughs> oh yeah, there's also the, um, oh god. Wait, these are little tiny guys, maybe they can help me. Can I pick up one of them? Nope. Ah, kill the bucket and logged out too. It doesn't matter if you logged out. I'm gonna get him anyways. You know, I just realized that kind of looks like a. Hmm. Looks like a person. That looks like a person uh, shape, actually. Hmm. Maybe one of them could be talked to and I just missed that. No, it doesn't seem like it. I made him really log out. Also, Wizard's fine, see? He was so obsessed with his chocolate bar, he didn't notice he died, so he just came back because. When you're, when you're that obsessed with something, you can't die, <laughs> I guess. Huh. The Dark Ham has a... Oh, yeah? The Dark Ham has evaded your inventory. All right, then. That was there, I guess. That was not there before. Hi, is this... Will this do for you? An accursed hand from some bygone age, its flavor is said to be legendary. I can only imagine the incredible powers that lie within its, its sumptuous pieces. Slices, but I must resist for if I take a single bite, I'm afraid I will never stop. So be on a normal Tuesday with food. <laughs> Here you go. There's no way. Is that the dark ham? May I have it? Orbel grips the succulent meat with his hands and rips into it. Rillets of oil weep down his chin. He's in heaven. You're my hero. There's a career of a statuette as thanks. I'm not sure what's... It's going to do much for you, but it's all I got right now. <laughs> this developer really likes to describe eating, doesn't he? Small statue of the world famous video game character Orbo from Orbo's Odyssey. Statue stares at me as if to say there's a hole somewhere I must fill. You must enter me. Yes, I, I I know, I know. Let's go do let's go put it in. Mini Orbo fits. Looks like I can get inside this hatch now. Oh, look. Oh, good. He's hes not just a statue. He's like a miniature version. Look, he's looking at me. That's good. Great. The, this hole was made for him. Uh, oh. Okay. Well. Thanks for coming to my little chamber. I was worried you wouldn't figure out what to do with that little statue I gave you. Anyways, this is a commitment of zone for 2022's haunted PS1 demo disc. We changed the colors up a bit. Last year it was purple, and this year it's green. 
Please feel free to cry alone in your room if you don't like this color, your color choice. Go ahead and visit the memorial hall through the port porticles ahead. If you want to leave, just enter the porticles ahead. Yeah, the exit's in the same place. Saw we! Okay, uh, hi there. Nice badger because of music. Up through, okay. But what do we got over here in these portals? Nothing. I think this is referencing another game from a previous year. I can't quite remember. I think I may have played it. Oh, well, hello. You're probably just guys are sitting up here looking at me. Oh. Um. I'm not a particular fan of this area. Yeah, I think it was from last year's demo disc. Can't quite remember. I mean, secret hunting is what I do, so one second. <laughs> hey, nothing really down there, alright. Hmm. Nope, can't hop up that. <laughs> oh, alright. This game is a lot going on, doesn't it? Welcome! <laughs> Welcome to the Commigrative Hall! Come and view our games, if you dare. Scully is the mascot of these of the series. Why is that rapidly vibrating? That one's not. So are these all the games this year? That we have to go through? Why is it hidden in this particular game, though? You know, why is it hidden in this particular random demo? Th this room. It's kind of interesting. So this is what we have to look forward to. <laughs> this is us, yeah. This is what we have to look forward to. There's some interesting looking games here. Oh, wow. Cat. Let's hope that most of these run well. Ah, yes, Enchained. There's a little sneak peek of what this demo just holds in store. Is that just a racing game? All right. Oh, wow. I like the art style of this. This is Claymation. All right. I think I'm about done here. Have I missed anything? Oh, wait. The minor thing and the and the guy. With, yeah, that's right. I still have the, uh, still have the head guy in my inventory. So uh, let's go to the minor area. I'm sure everything will make sense once we get up there, so. It is your fault. Oh, oh my. Oh! I would have never known. Hello. Hello, it's me, Mr. Sprout. I'm in kind of a pickle. I wish we planted. I yell for the earth. I cry for my brothers. Wait, why do I have two? I have two of them now. Okay. Also, excuse me? So I can break the- I can break more stuff than I thought, then. Oh. Oh. Oh my god! Smiler, my protagonist- uh, So, uh, that's very similar 
Oh my god. Gunstar Heroes for Sega Genesis has a mini boss that looks just like this guy. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh god. Right, the dash lets me not take less damage, so I should I should use that. Bye. <laughs> the teeth. <laughs> the teeth. <laughs> I like the realistic explosion. Okay. All right then. I sure did that. What a save. Don't fight me. Uh, before I go through that door, I learned something important, so hold on. Had to get that out of the way. I don't even know if that revealed anything. Was there uh, any value to that? Well, okay, well that's right. Well, that's one side. Uh, now for the other side. There must be a reason, right? Well, I guess we found a reason already, but... Nothing! Okay. Oh, worth a shot. Or quite a few shots, really. Alright, what's in here? What exactly was the point of that? Hmm. Well... Aha! Yeah, I guess specifically bookcases can be destroyed. So, like, good to know, I guess. I'm glad I even figured I could break them. What's this? Thank you, brother. I will now set my roots in and maybe give you something nice later. Hmm? Come back in a little bit. Okay. I guess that's what he wants. Uh, did we see any other points like that? I don't remember. Come back in a bit. All right. How long is a bit? Also, why is there so much to do in this? It's including a secret boss fight. I do like the fights. That was a good fight. And I actually made use of the old dash defensibility thing.
a bit when you play the full version. It could... Yeah. You mean like a very small portion? I, I could see it. Alright, so where else can I go right now? Well, now I've learned I should destroy more objects, so maybe I should go back through another area since I have to apparently quote-unquote wait. There's something on top of the tower. I was kind of wondering if there might be something on top of the tower, but I was always like, I can't really get up there, but actually maybe I can now. Oh yeah, actually I can, totally can, because I have the uh, dashy dash. Gopher! What a cute prairie dog. I should press interact to pet the dog. I mean, you bite the dog. There could only be one. You bite the dog. You bite the dog. You bite the dog. By eating the entire critter is now inside of my inventory. There's no explanation for this. Bellies are inventories. Come on now. There's a police officer. Shit, he saw the whole thing. It's a, I had a prairie dog piece by piece and somehow reassembled itself completely intact in the live inventory. Just great. I should probably bring it back to its home and at least find someone who will take care of it for me. I know where to. Oh, uh, don't worry. I'm not a cop. I've infiltrated the ranks to bust a serious conspiracy. If you don't even believe me, you can kill me and come back later. You know what you'll notice? I can load a save. The other cops can't. See, my theory is that they aren't human. After only human beings can use the safe stations, those cops. There's something else. Have you notice how obsessed they are with mushrooms? I th think there's some kind of evolved predatory fungus. I know it sounds insane, but I swear to God I saw one root in the ground once. Not to mention every single cop seems to know what I said what I said to a specific one. It's not adding enough. Also notice they drink lots of truffle oil. I haven't seen a single cop buy a normal bottle of water. He said to kill him and come kill him and come back, so I will do that. Uh so anyways, I'm guessing the prairie dog is so we can get in that damn vending machine, so let's see that. While also trying to shoot as much as possible. I, I, is it just me or is there more game after the demo ends than before the demo ends? Here. Kinda feels like there might be more game after it ends. So the people that responded just saved? I guess so, but even the cops respawned, so I don't know. Alright, what have I not done? Let's see. I mean, now we have the prairie dog. I mean... But let's go turn the prairie dog in, I guess. I'm trying to think of things I may have not shot that I could shoot, but I don't think of anything. I can't think of anything else currently. Tried the graves, they didn't do anything. This has to be the solution, right? You look at your briefcase of the prairie dog you collected. It faces you and nods knowingly before crawling out of the cage. The prairie dog clambers through the item slot. Its leg gets caught for only a moment before it slips into the machine. After a few tense moments of clunking and banging, the dog triumphantly returns with a bar in its mouth. It slings the bar into your hands before returning back to the briefcase. What an incredible animal. An inspiration. Oh, I still have it? I, so, I suppose I do. I should probably bring it back to its home and find someone who will take care of it for me. Meanwhile, as I have Sharp Crutch Cookie Madness, an extremely rare special edition version of Sharp Crutch, straight from the company's homeland, Germany. Sharp Crutch was created by Hildebrand German Gorman in 1863 with his son Sharp Gorman, fell into a chocolate vat, and perished. After his, after his son Sharp Gorman fell into a chocolate vat and perished, Cookie Crutch still features the distinct face of Hildebrand's son. <laughs> I see. All right. Well, I have I have the bar now. Do I give that to the wizard too, or 
Actually, wait. Before I loop myself around, let me try something. Something I just remembered. This caddy bar is basically a set of more lives. Or maybe he's the cat. Maybe his son's the caddy bar because he, he fell to a bat. <laughs> He's quite like seriously you'd expect you to jump off the edge of the building to return to the island. Yep, can't kill him. Alright, thought so. Wow, they're pretty far. Not far enough though. And there's nothing much to do down here either. Just double checking. Alright. Alright, so now that I have the caddy bar, I'm guessing I just give that to the wizard again. I still have the... I have to return to the sprout as well, but he said he literally needed just some time, so... Doing that, giving him time, so... Wait, really? He's so focused on that candy bar, he doesn't see that there's another candy bar. Alright then. Hello there, rat. Welcome. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, what even happened here? Was this really the white right place to bury him? Oh my. Homicide Valley. That's apparently what this is called. Oh, the graphics are fucking with my brain. Wow. Welcome. Uh, thanks. It never ends, it never ends, it never ends, it never ends, it never ends. It never ends. Oh my. Uh, who the hell was that guy? I'm sorry, what? By the way, if you're wondering why didn't you shoot him or something, I actually tried. Game was- I couldn't move either. Well, geez. Is, is that a- I do have a- yeah, that's the one thing, like... I have the bar, which we haven't found a use for. I still have another Mr. Sprout, and I'm not really sure what to do about that. 
I still feel like I have unintended business here. I want to see something. Huh. Okay. That didn't happen. What, what are you talking about? There's not a horrific chamber there. What are you talking about? The bar to Orbo? I guess I could try. Yeah, because Wizard's just distracted. He's absolutely shredding the ham into pieces. I guess I'll leave him be. I mean, I could try to give him. He's kind of busy with that ham, though. Yeah, he's ham. Yeah, nope. Let me think. Hey, do you, uh, like a, want a prairie dog or something? Yeah, I, I, I think I've run out of ideas. Does anybody have any ideas? I have a sproutling to plant. I have a very fancy chocolate bar. And I've got, a, I still got the prairie dog, too. Prince kid. Okay, good, good thought. I'll go over to him. Cause I'm kind of, I'm kind of out of ideas at this point. <laughs> All right, I'll go to the prince. You saw some rocks I didn't shoot. Do you want a friend? You lost your previous one. He kind of blew up. Did you Did you like a prairie dog? Okay, it's not. Okay, nothing. What if I go back in here? Wait a minute. Hi. Welcome to my chamber. Thanks, chat. Would you like a candy bar? How about a friend? How about a plant that doesn't make any sense? Okay then. Good to, good to know. And there's just a creepy cube. I can't destroy it either. It takes you back out, so... Huh. Yeah, this game is weird. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, I just missed this apparently last time, or maybe. Well, the way the wall texture is, it's easy to miss a turn. I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything. Hold on. I definitely feel like I have still missed some stuff, but I can't think of what to do next. Was that eyeball always yellow? I thought it was blue. I'm sorry, it's self probably if I would finally empty the last substitutory. Okay, well, that, at least that machine's satisfied. Yeah, the eye did change color, didn't it? Let's see about that. I'm kind of out of ideas, to be honest with you. No, it's not talkable to. I've tried really hard. Um. <clears throat> it does. It still feels like things are a little bit incomplete here, but I'm out of ideas. I mean, somebody suggested going back to a previous vending machine. I think. Oh god, the only interesting item you can see in this vending machine. The rest of them are weird brands of water you never heard of. Devil's Drench, Genius Water, Hydration Sensation. What the fuck is wrong with Brandy these days? You can finally make a mental note to start a comedy routine after you find Alex and leave nowhere. I even work a bit out. Might even work in a bit about the gym. Okay.
I think it's fair to say we've kind of won. So I can't really think of anything else to do. I mean, maybe... It is weird that we still have some random items, though. Like, we try- we, we had to spend a long time to get that candy bar, but now that I have it, like... Okay, what, what do I do with it? Wait, where are you going? I can make you super strong. Yeah, please wait. Oh, wait, I come back. I'm sorry. Wait, there is one thing I forgot to do. But also, would you like to be housed with a gopher? Okay, or a prey dog or whatever? No, I guess not. Uh, let's see. The one thing I could think of was... I Maybe I should go back to the talk to the guy who said it, that he can load a save. I didn't actually think about... I, I kind of forgot I was going to go back to him and I kind of forgot to do so. The only other thing I can think of is this guy says he has special boots. Special pair of augmented flippers. If I could swim in that, maybe I could go to the thing at the end of the... Maybe I could trade, a, trade him something? Let's see. No, he doesn't want the candy bar. Uh, dang. I was hoping I could trade him for his flippers. Since he's talking so much about him. After such an incredible heist, the machine sits on the floor quietly cursing to itself that it sees that something as small as a road had duped it. <laughs> what if something different would have happened if you give the guy a special bar and not the normal one? Yeah, thinking about it, I didn't need to give the wizard this normal bar, did I? That didn't unlock anything, so I could have actually held off and given him the special bar. Maybe that's something you could check out in your own playthrough if you guys play this game. I do recommend checking out this demo. It's pretty cool, actually. Alright, let, let me do one last thing and then I'm done. We have other games to play, after all. And this will be on multi- by the way, Full Moon Friday will be m not just this Friday, it'll be uh, uh, next Friday as well. And it'll be- it'll be every Friday until we're done with this demo disc. However long that'll take us. It's really hard to say, because every game's a different length. He did come back. Anyway, kid, I heard about the situation of your brother. One of the cops is mumbling about to himself. How about you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours, huh? You help me get proper evidence of my theory. I'll see what I can turn up about your brother Alex. I know it sounds insane, but you have to trust me. Those cops aren't human. She's right, this sounds insane. And if she can help me find Alex, it's maybe worth hunting for some info on those so-called cops. I... Okay, I just got another objective. Or at least it sounded like I got an objective. Chat with, I mean, I'll chat with the cops a little bit. Let's see. Let's see if that changes anything. Where are they? Oh, there's only like, one right here. I, I didn't shoot them this this load of the area. Where are they? They're gone. They were definitely reloading. I was paying attention. They were definitely reloading uh, with everything else. So, in other words, if I shot them, left the area, came back, they came back too. I, I did notice that. So now that I talked to the undercutter cop, they're all just gone. That's kind of sus. Just theater? Oh, thank you, man. 
you're looking at the creepy version right now, but uh, I, thank you. I have I think my son is pretty cool too. That's bizarre. Oh well, I don't really know what to do with this. I, I guess I'll run. Yeah, the fountain doesn't have any interactions. I've I've tried. I mean, I could. I mean, again, there's no interactions. So I I don't think I can do anything with the plant here. Like, every time I've used an item on something, it's always been at an interaction point. So if there's literally nothing to interact with, I doubt I can use an item there. Yeah, the pedestal had my curiosity at the right at the beginning of the game. I actually checked it because I was like, oh, that's interesting. Nothing, though. You notice how there's still people around, but all the police officers are gone now. I guess I'll do one more run through the game to see if anything else is worth checking out. Actually, yeah, I do have one thought. One of my thoughts is stupid, though. Just wanted to look behind this thing. Alright. Um. I'm gonna go to the back of this area because I honestly haven't been here since doing a whole bunch of things, so maybe there's something new here. Because, again, stuff just kind of happens sometimes. Remember the meat that just was in the library for some reason? That wasn't there before, and then it just was. Also, some of the sound effects of this area make me think of Jabba Jabba's belly, which I think is probably intentional. Oh, that does hurt. See, what did I say? What did I fucking say? What is that? Lettuce cube. It's lettuce in cubic format. I wonder if there's someone out there who'd like to eat this. I don't fucking know. It, I don't know. Is there somebody that would want to, want to eat that? That just raises, I mean, that doesn't, I mean, that's a new item, but I have no idea what to do with that. I have, I have no clue what exactly I would use a lettuce cube for. Anybody? It's weird, it's like I'm discovering more things, but it isn't necessarily salty things. Bunny? Sadly, that doesn't exist here. Wait. I love doing the hawks as well as you agree. Probably stare down and say nothing. Some of the dialogue changes now then, too. I, I'm, le I'm least interested in talking to that monkey, but hey. Let me think. Eye is ground now green. Yeah, I, I guess it just changes. It's gotta be something. Wait, hold on. You. Do you want lettuce? Nope. I don't know where I was going with that either. He loves meat. What if I give him lettuce as sort of a fuck you? 
Okay, never mind. Yeah, I'm out of ideas. I think I'll switch games probably, unless... I mean, every time I go through an area, it seems like I find something else, but I just... I don't know, I'm out of ideas. Stop the eyeballs from staring. Bizarre. Yeah, we're at the point of brute forcing, and honestly, when you when you start brute forcing, it becomes less fun, in my opinion. Cube, be interested in lettuce cube. You're both cubes, be friends. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm. Mm, I'm like trying to rack my brain at this point. Actually, this tree isn't even interactable, it's just a tree. Yeah, it was pretty fun. I wish it didn't get so abstract of all its secrets, though. It would be nice if, you know... I could have figured this, the rest of the stuff out, but... As it stands... Unless I forgot some very important dialogue line, which is entirely possible. I can't think of anything else to do, so... Most of the NPCs are silly and unnecessary. There's only a few that are actually important. I wonder if the Atlas Cube was just an alternate item I could have given Orbo, actually. Thinking about it. Much like how the candy bar seems to be an alternate item for the wizard. All right, well, that was pretty fun though, honestly. Confusion at the end aside, I, like, I don't know why I have the second sprout, I don't know why I kept the gulf, the prairie dog. And these other two items seem like alternate use items that I didn't get the chance to use. Meanwhile, there's something about the policemen, but they're all gone now, so I can't even, like, figure them out. Interesting, I'm still getting unique dialogue lines here and there. Like, apparently re-talking to people sometimes causes something to happen. But, yeah, I think I'm done. I'd say we, uh, very thoroughly... We weren't completely thorough, but we were still pretty dang thorough. So let's go ahead... ...and switch to another game. But yeah, Nowhere Michigan. Uh, this one seems interesting, so... This is definitely one of those games... Free Fever Dream Softworks. This is definitely one of those games where I'm like... If this gets finished later... I might want to play it. Let's see here. I'm actually curious. How does this game describe itself? Nowhere in Michigan is an absurdist first-person metroidvania about a young man named James trying to track down his missing brother, Alex. Uh, using, utilizing the pair of natural powers of strange life forms known as surrogates, James dives into the mysterious world town of nowhere to be in a search for Alex. Along the way, he comes to bizarre residents. Uh, yeah, this is definitely interesting. I would like to reiterate there are a lot of, there's lots of monkeys in this game. I guess if you're afraid of monkeys, you shouldn't probably play it. Or actually, you could play it if you want, since you can shoot the monkeys. Maybe consider this game a form of exposure therapy for uh, Pithicobia. Pithicobia. Phobia. Ah, that's hard to say. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely interesting. I wonder, uh, I wonder if this will go anywhere. I guess we'll see, right? Sometimes these games that are demos only remain demos, but sometimes they get completed. 
Hopefully this one gets completed because it's kind of it, it, it like it's a, I like it's surrealist style. Uh, but yeah, that was our Michigan. I guess let's go ahead and quit. We have so many more games to check out after all. Hey, there's a bocce. All right, cool. That's two games down. Only two. <laughs> we'll get there. I guess next we should do the North Star Courier. All right. First one was terrible. Second one was absolutely wonderful. <laughs> North Star Courier. Dem demo by Ben Drari? Explore the depths of a little bayside town as you deliver packages and uncover its dark underbelly. Meet an explicit language. Probably an explicit language discussing beats. I don't know. Meat. Is that a... Is that... Is that... Is meat a content warning subject now? Alright. Fever dreams... Wait, again? Well, that's a good sign if fever dreams involved in this one, too. How many games he working on? I agree with that. I agree with that, Hyper. Supports mouse and keyboard. Crashes if controller. I... I hope that having the controller on but not being used is okay. North Star Courier. Okay. I guess let's, uh, let's look at the options. Alright. What a weird resolution. Okay, fine. Whatever you say. I mean, it seems to be working, so... Alright, there we go. Hey, kiddo, wake up! We're just about there. Hmm, what? Could you at least pretend to be the least bit excited? Come on, Dad, it's not like I'm leaving the country. Yeah, but living by yourself in the middle of nowhere for your first time in your life isn't that far off. Hmm, true. I just wish it wasn't because of this dang-ass delivery job. Nah, yeah, we all start somewhere. Besides, didn't they give you that photography gig on the side? Good place to start your portfolio, no? Huh, well, yeah, I guess you're right. Oh yeah, this actually does seem pretty good. And it's only for a month. Trust me, it'll be fine. Yeah, oh, it looks like a town's just up ahead. Just drop me off at the gate. Love you, Dad. Smooch his bald head. <laughs> okay. I, I do like the car. It's nice to start a game where you're riding in a car that actually has a frame rate, you know? Unlike the first game. <laughs> Dear Porter, congrats on your re recent local promotion, locational promotion. You don't see anything. Why didn't you see anything? Here's some tips to help you on your first day on the job. This game is not wanting to display half the time, I just noticed. Let me try this. And then that. And then this. Okay, well, uh... Hold on a second. I'll just capture in a dumb way. Hold on, this is temporary, but for now I'll do this. Um, each day you'll be given a set number of packages delivered to give to the locals. You cannot finish the day before all packages are delivered. You've been given a camera. Ask around for anomalies. <laughs> okay. Search and a found red will appear. Right mouse, toggle cap camera, left mouse, capture, zoom, kiwi. At the end of the day's work, look for the blue building of the company logo. Photo attached. Okay. Oh, look at us. This, oh my god, this makes me think of Mega Man of Legends immediately. Alright, let me see if I can't fix what the hell is going on here. If I change the resolution, it's entirely possible the game will actually display properly. Alright. Let me unfull screen. Let me full screen. Yeah, this one displays weird. Okay, then. I mean, that's fine, I guess. Hold on a second. That means I have to do an individual capture. Weirdly, part of it displayed under auto detect, but part of it doesn't. It's definitely a curious one, this one. But that's fine. I am cut in half. <laughs> uh, hold on a second. Just means I have to go through a little... 
interesting. The auto detect stretch is actually accurate. Wait, hold on. Maybe I just need to update it then. Refresh. Did that work? Oh, no, it did not work. That's fine. We'll just capture it this way. Just using a different capture static style, that's all. It'll do. Let's see. Okay, so... Camera. Huh. Also, is it loud enough? This one seems a little quieter. Just let me know. Kari Bay, 200 meters. Okay. What's this? New song acquired. Press tab to open the music player. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Alright. Swallow. That's why I like doing that. Pistol Jazz. Yeah, what do you guys think? Is this audio just kind of quiet? Let me, let me bump it. How's this? Oh, that's cool. We actually put on headphones. Well, are the birds a good volume now? I guess it's the most important thing. As long as something sounds loud, I'm fine. Or not loud, but as long as something sounds reasonable volume, I'm fine then. I might have had a run for the start, maybe. There are puzzles in this town. Look for notes, they will be found. The Puzzle Master. The Puzzle Master's clue! Okay. Yeah, it's not the loudest music, but it's fine. It's overly subdued jazz, so... Looks like this is my new place. Better go find someone to talk to first before I settle down, though. So long, house. I must, I must, I can't just, move, I can't just walk in. I have to randomly talk to a, a, a neighbor first. Okay. Welcome to Cory Bay. Okay. This is also our movement. This is me running, by the way. This is me walking. And this is me running. You know, it's surprising how fit and thin we are because we waddle like an obese man. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> Oh well. We'll just live with it. Wow, I can fit behind anything. My god, that's a huge vending machine. Oh well, a vending machine, but I don't have any change on me. I'll be back for you. It'll be back for me. Look at the size of it. Oh. This appears to be an anomaly. Looks like the sign fell off this house. Wonder what it says. Oh well, I best get a move on. How small are you? Apparently, actually, you know what? We're only halfway the height of the door. Holy shit! We're like fucking. Hey, is, whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. What? Uh. Anomaly discovered. <laughs> Okay, if that's how it's gonna go. Alright then. Man, this house looks old and abandoned. Oh, I guess get a move on. Warning, scary. Warning, scary. Is this blood? <sighs> I'm waiting for the statue to be scary. It said that there's, it said I should ward, should warning scary, so. Hmm. I don't know if I believe it. Oh, that's scary. Look at that. Oh, 
Like, I, okay, I can't phase through these logs, so that one log set, that was a mistake, I guess. This must have been a schoolhouse, a very small one at that. Oh, well, best gonna move on. Is that anomaly? It's a person. That might be anomalous, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, these footprints were uh, not here before. I, I do not like this movement speed very much. I understand it's it's not a, you know, we're just chill and not worried about rain all over the place. But still, this is really slow. Okay. Let's go talk to the one person that exists. This is running, by the way. I can move slower. Here, let's move slower. I actually do like the art style. It makes me, it's very close to like Mega Man Legends. At least it kind of makes me think of it. Uh, we're gonna get a delivery bike. It's gonna be way faster, right? Probably. I, I really fucking hope so. Ooh, I got new music. Let's see. Some bad joke. Hello, sir. I'm here on behalf of North Star Deliveries. I have a package here from Mr. Mold, Nicholas Mold. And thank you, sir. Do you have it? Now, do you think I could ask you some. Hey, kid, do you like speed? Huh? Like my fast stuff? I do, yeah. I can tell. You kind of have an aura to you that I totally respect and dig a lot. After we're done here, take a look around the back of my house. Sir, welcome again from me to you. Uh, thanks, sir. Will do. And do you think you can answer some of my questions? Sure, I respect the person who likes questions. Okay. I see you think weird around here. Hmm, weird, huh? Tell you what, sometimes I see a critter. I think so fast I can't make it out of shape. It's usually around town, but I say look for clues if you ask me, which you are. Will do, sir. Found a thing on the ground earlier. Mini, mini this. Look like it. Yep, those are mine. Why were they on the ground? Tell you what, it's those damn birds. I use them for nesting material. Lousy jerks. Say funny, though, take them as a gift for me. For free, no less. Oh, hey, thanks. Does everybody say, oh, hoy? <laughs> what are you playing? It's beautiful. Hmm. Uh, what? Hmm. Okay, that's a good song. The song of concentration. Very well, see you for now. I recommend getting settled in for the day. Roadworks won't be finished till tomorrow. They brought out the cone and everything. I'll be here if you need me. See ya. Alright. Oh, I am Timmy. Oh, yeah, I guess that's one thing. Ah! I'm, I'm not good. This helps my broken leg situation a little bit. Wait, no, wait, that's weird. When you're on foot, you hold down shift to move a little faster. When you're on the vehicle, you hold down shift to slow down. What? <laughs> okay. Literally does the op shift literally does opposite things depending on if you're on the vehicle or not. <laughs> sure, why not? Also, just for your set Q backwards. That Q is absolutely backwards. I think I still understood it. Oh, can't can't get past this. Ah, oh, damn! There's, oh, there's a god dang cone in the way. Looks like I can't go up ahead. It's my uh, sad face. Sad face. Let's look for anomalous. Entities. We found one already. <clears throat> There's probably more. Oh, there's one. Found one. It's right there. It's G Man. He's right there. There, there we go. I knew he was watching us. We're, we're the son of Gordon Freeman. We're. Uh. Timmy 
Freeman. I don't know. <laughs> Fucking hell. Names are hard. Okay, that's just an Easter egg. It's not a, it's not anomalous. It's just somebody put a skull up there. Where should I fall? All right, I think that's all the uh, entities I can currently see. Though the one thing does say that there's something scary if I look at the statue, and I haven't seen it yet. It might be lying, though. Well, this is a little bit faster. I'm, I accept this speed. Let's go to bed. Very quiet scooter, isn't it? Oh! Rejoice and be glad. I... Eh, okay. Oh, somebody left us potatoes, I, I think. Peeb Adventures! Yeah. Some boxes. Cosmic. Uh, the face distortion because of the effects. Mm -hmm. It's good. Oh, somebody left us a nice little. Oh, look at a little coffee, a little chai, a little chai latte or something. Oh, we got a, got a bed to sleep in. We got a waste basket found a bottom, and we got an old computer. Oh, oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, it's a, it's a tracky thing. There's 13 in total. We got Mr. Grin and Skitter Boy. And you look for Evil Skeleton Cave Lad, Mr. Grin 2, The Pit, Bohan Upa's Host's Eagle, Mr. Grin 3, The Flatwoods Monster, Chiefs, Chef's Dark Ham, Evil Bridge Baby, and The Tower. Alright. We must, we must seek out the anomalies. Can we find them all? We saw a skeleton but couldn't snap it. I don't know. Let me go back out. If you like to go back outside now, best be getting to bed. Yawn. Okay, I'll just do that. I'll do that tomorrow then. Sleep. <laughs> Boy, I'll mash up stick in the steel. <laughs> uh, what's that? Two days. Okay. Tell. Le Adventures de Pib. I heard that. So they laughed the moment I spawned. I heard laughter. Perhaps I need to be at a better angle for that. They might see you get further away, you know. So for a lot of sites, kind of difficult for this uh, for this distance. Yeah, I don't know. Is that a, is that an entity or just an Easter egg? Can't get it to show up. Gosh, dang, get gosh, canarn it. It's like the first way I can get with it still be invisible. Power box, man. It's in the way. Yes, North Star Courier. Oh my god, I, I do not know why they decided the main character should move this slowly off the bike. Keep in mind, I can't take photos while on the bike, so that's why I hopped off. My god, okay. Honestly, the bike isn't even that fast, it just feels fast by comparison. Maybe they just want me to be really close or something. I don't know. I don't think it's an enemy because it's not moving. So I don't think it actually counts.
It's literally just a head. All right. Moving on. If our character would like to move on. Holy shit. Speed up, dude. <laughs> All right. Keep, I guess we just keep our eyes peeled for uh, entities and... Uh, yeah. Hey Nicholas, here's today's package. Yep, welcome back. Enjoy the Willy Wills. I think we in the hang of it. Good, because I just installed new hardware in it. There you go, a bit faster. Oh, that was quick. Yep. See, the rogue cones are gone. Won't keep the, won't keep it for long. Then ask any questions. You have them now. So I think weird up there. If my river serves me right, in, which it does costly. Should be an old band of clock town. Tell you what though, that clock always gave me the stink eye. Make sure you keep your eye on it. Clock tower. God, thanks. Okay, we'll watch the clock tower. Those are for other people dawdle around here. I recommend you head left first. That's where the lovely couple, couple lives. And on the right, the freak computer girl. Good luck for her. Yeah, will do. It's up at your house. Ah, oh, my magnum opus. My humble abode. Everything here is repurposed to create the perfect environment to record audio. Every item is either used or to create or reflect sound waves. You may not have guessed it, but I'm kind of big into music. I even made a disc or two. Yep. Maybe I'll fight him out there today. You have a very sick and esoteric mind. I see. I see. What? <laughs> sick and esoteric? What? I mean, if, I mean, if he got the sound acoustics just right, I'm not going to judge. Oh wow, it is faster all of a sudden. What, why? Why? Why was there even a slower version then? Okay, well that's good. Well, now we're faster apparently. We. Okay, off we go then. Okay, well, first thing he said is to keep the eye on the clock. So I will do so. This is very exciting. Is there, is there a particular part of the clock I should be looking at? Hmm. I'm gonna actually ignore all the houses for right now. Oh, it was like a tunnel. Neat. Alright, you look for anything weird. We wanna, we wanna find anything that's weird. Wait, there's two clocks. Wait, which clock was I supposed to be watching? I'll, I'll watch this one. I think he said the clock tower, though. Okay, that goes somewhere else, too. Hmm. Definitely something on fire over there. Oh, thank you, Xerix. I, I hope so, too. I'll see what this says. Hours to minutes, door to door. The puzzle master. The puzzle master's clue. Hours to minutes, door to door. Hours to whoop. I mean, it says one eight. One eight. They both say one eight. Yes, one eight. Hours to minutes, one to eight. Does that tell me something useful?
I mean, these aren't these aren't numbered, so. Oh, interesting. You can immediately turn it when. Okay. Knock knock. Oh yeah, it's a fight quality door, all right. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. That's odd. This door feels weird. Hmm. Handles point to houses. Oh, knock knock. Oh yeah, it's fine quality door. Okay, does it? Oh yeah, because it's kind of. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Then. All right. I understand what you're saying. I think you're right. Knock, knock. That's all. This store feels weird. Okay. Sorry, the store feels weird. Yeah, I was trying to get the bike. Okay. So, that door and then... Uh, two doors down? This one? Yeah, this door felt weird too, right? Time for a knock. Nope. Oh. It, it growled. Uh oh, 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 oh. Okay. All right, then. It's fine. You again. <laughs> Hey, big guy. That's all I have to say to you, bitch. Oh, jeez, for fuck you, you're mean. Oh, hey, big guy. That's all I have to say to you, bitch. Wow, oh, I'm not even that big. How dare you? Um, okay, that was definitely um, unusual for multiple reasons. All right, let's uh, let's knock on all the doors, <laughs> I guess. Make sure I knock on I don't know really know which package I have to which door I lap. I hate the movement of this. I it's it's either I'm on the bike, which is annoying to control, or I'm on foot, which is basically so slow I don't even want to be on it. Alright, I think it's all the doors. I mean, I guess we're looking for entities, so I'm, I'm just going to poke around. Let's go to the church. What the heck? Shall hell just happen? <laughs> Found one. I had a feeling. <laughs> Oh, it's not a, it's a train. Man, this town has a train? Pretty banged up, though. I hope someone gets around to fixing it. New song. Okay, why not? Train is broken due to repairs. We'll be fixed later. Darn. <laughs> See, they're just around, these these skeletons. Sal's mocking me of his vending machine population. Ah, sobs gently. I, I can't get over how big they are compared to us. Yeah, they're they're suspicious for sure, but I can't do anything with them.
Uh, let's go to the docks, I guess. What's down here? Oh, site oath. Keep out. Ah, oh, that sounds like a great place to go. Let's see what we got here. Huh. Where's this guy who restocks it? One of the great mysteries of the universe. Hmm. Red, Shink's red. Oh, I didn't see the ring. The, was the Shink's look cool? Okay, I didn't actually see it. Uh, hello, is anyone there? Startup sequence. Computer log is log on sequence enabled. Loading hacker BIOS voice on face screen XE file enabled now. Uh. Error screen able log on screen to G, G screw crunch reboot. <laughs> what? <laughs> screen go go crunch reboot. <laughs> Hello, I am with you. I am hacking really hard. Is it is it is is it important? I have a package for you. Okay, fine. I'll stop hacking. Okay, could you drop down the ladder so I can give you the package, please? Nope. Why not? Stupid again. I'm anonymous. I am weird. I cannot be known. Do you want me to check it up there then? No. <laughs> Look, just put the box inside my wood bucket. Yeah, I use bucket. So what? Oh, that's what it is. A bucket. <laughs> yeah, it works so well, I even hacked something back down. So you're through into your bike, me thinking. Oh, you say you weren't hacking. Okay, you caught me. I'm still hacking. You were full. Uh, okay, I have a few questions. You got time. Okay, for real, this time I'll stop hacking. What do you need? Have you seen anything weird about it? Weird things, yes. Let me tell you what. I'll be hacking awake constantly late at night. But all of a sudden, bang! Followed by a who? Followed by a very hungry squawk. And then nothing. However, I'm too much of a hacker's full state to check. But if you end up finding it, take a snap of your camera, okay? Yeah, sure thing, no problem, thanks. Most likely big bird, big bird, big hungry bird. Uh oh, it's not dangerous for us, we're very small. What's it like up there? Mm, yes, yeah, chill. Somebody call it cramped and suffocating, but it's actually fine. I can do everything constantly in my hacker shack. Runs on a water wheel, infinite energy, and nature hack. <laughs> Dang, those wheels must be moving fast. If sadly I'm the only one, I'm only running on one wheel power, lol, the other got jabbed. If you look into that, I can always pay you in many presents. Okay. Very well, see you later. <laughs> Transmission status fitting. Closed. Call finished. Okay. Oh, I have a peed. Look at that. Is that a... Uh... No, I guess not. It doesn't even look like a bucket, but okay. Did I do it? I don't know. I assumed it was properly delivered. Oh wow, what an inviting jig and mess. Me thinks it would be really smart if I got any closer. Severely injured myself and disrupt traditions. Ah, yes. Yes. Maybe there's a secret. You never know. Hmm. Jesus, looks like somebody really had a go at this ground. Something big. Alright, what's our little clue for this area? Set the plate for a midnight snack, then come back on Morrow for a heart attack. The Puzzle Master. Puzzle Master's clue. Set the plates on the... Okay, set the plate... Okay, let's come back the next day. Got it. So wait, set, set it with what, though? I don't, I don't have food. Or do I? Hmm. Looks like some kind of hatch or opening. Maybe someone here knows how to open it. Hmm. There's nothing to think about it now. This is kind of weird how this path, like, goes. <laughs> Ah, the water wheels. Keep your eyes peeled for anything suspicious. Alright, what's jamming this? Ah, I see the problem here. It's a big tasty nut jamming the wheel. They haven't found a way to just fucking ram it out of there. Okay, what's the what the fuck's up with your random fucking cursing? <laughs> hmm.
What is with our? What is with this game's dialogue? It's so weird and off-putting. I don't know how to put it exactly. It's just, it's just, it's just weird. A new CD. What do we got? Spring snow. Oh hi again. I'm gonna ram the fucking taste in there. I rammed the I rammed the wheel, but you know, good enough. Ah, so I need to push the nut then. Oh, it's gonna take some work, isn't it? So it's we gotta get the food. So we get a hungry burb out and about. So we get eight. Oh 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 oh. So then I broke the game and it reset me to the original position. That's fine as long as the nut's not you know gone. <laughs> Oh, so just for me, I think the hacker lady gave us the peeb. I think that's what I think that's what she did. So I may have uh, out of bound clipped myself using a nut. So, at least I had a fail safe for it. I, I guess it's fine as long as the nuts uh, still there. It is. I guess I'll do this on foot then. Um, I'm out of bound clipping again. Okay, I'm good. Kinda easy to do when the nut keeps going against the fucking wall. <laughs> Alright, so where do we need to push this? Congrats, Rares. Rares, I haven't heard that name in a while. Okay, let's see. The nut goes. Where was it? Wait, where does it go? Oh. Oh, the water wheel's fixed, so that opens now. Cool. I'll have to check that out in a minute. Hey, Papa Lynx. <laughs> Randomly butt camera. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's try... <laughs> what, I'm gonna go out of bounds again, aren't I? I bet I could out of bounds clipped into the water, but then I'd probably get actually stuck. I'm lucky that they had a emergency failsafe reset. Okay, where's this nut going again? It's gonna go over here, right? Yeah. Okay. Gameplay. Is that good enough? I'm gonna assume that's good enough. Um, wrong spot. Oh, was that not it? Oh, it was the black spot. Well, I don't even know how I did that then. <laughs> Fucking hell. Wait, what was this for then? Oh, this was a hatch! Okay. Um, yeah, it's stuck up there now. Let's try something. Oh, wow, that just literally quits it. I was hoping to go back to tile screen. Alright. I don't know if I like this game. It has the wrong... It has the... It doesn't have the right flow, you know? Just a second. We'll get back into it. It's... 
You did save, right, game? Cheats? I see. It did not save a damn thing. All right. <laughs> At least you can skip the cutscene. All right. I mean, it's not going to take me long to get back to that point now that I... It's, it's, it's a puzzle game, right? This is effectively a puzzle game, so... If you know how to do the puzzles, it's not... It's going to take that long, you know? Especially if I just get on the bike as soon as possible. Seem to make sure not to miss the music CDs, I guess. That's a real shame, though. You have an exploration-based game that's really slow-paced, so you don't have any sort of save function. All right. I just don't know why they decided the main character should move in this space when you're holding the sprint button. It truly boggles the mind. Isn't this the spot? It was over here. Where's the spot? Mr. Weird Cartwheel Guy. I'm, I'm trying to find him. Well, I, I was going to take a quick snap of that guy, but all right, hold on. Is this one of those cases where some of, the in, some of them are triggered by, like... Are they, like, triggered by things? Like, do I have to do some certain interactions just to get things to spawn? That would be, that would be kind of shitty, but... He was over here, right? I'm not wrong about the location I'm looking. Pretty sure. Oh, uh, maybe the idea is that I have to look at the scary marker thing first. Ah, that's a, that's that's a trick. Okay. So there is a trigger for it sometimes. All right, well, there we go. Hopefully I can find all the music. We'll see, I guess. So, uh, help me find all the music discs here. That's the main thing. I'm, I, I think I remember all the spooky guys. I know where they all are, but... Let's see, this disc right here... I think that's it for now. Let's go back to the house and... You know how many horror games, like, are like, Hey, go the next day, or something, like... Kind of arbitrary. Like, why can't I just start delivery packages? Okay, so we'll see how I do, I guess. Sorry that I broke the game. <laughs> Though I guess I shouldn't surprise. Shouldn't be too surprised, I suppose.
Well, the guy with the yellow shirt was right on purple. Why there's also a dragon? Well, then the game would be better because there'd be a dragon involved. <laughs> Obviously. Right. Let's see if I can remember where all the other spookies I found before were. I, I, most of them are pretty obvious. The clock tower is a puzzle, but we know how to solve it now, so... Still kind of confusing how it works, but... Hey, whatever. So long as it does. And the skelly dudes, we can't do anything with them, so... I guess I'll just ignore that. You're breaking the game's door. Yeah, like, I clipped out of bounds before that, too, so... Good, good... I should have softlocked myself twice, technically. See, were there any discs behind any of the houses here? I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> Whoosh. Okay, let's just solve everything we did. Let's just repeat let's just repeat the same steps, honestly. Step one. Go read me over here. Step two. Step three, get abused by a sprout. <laughs> Step four. Uh, I bet you anything there's still some, there's something else around here I, I'm not seeing. I wouldn't be surprised if the bell tower had a thing pop up now and then. That would not surprise me. Let's go over here, though. Oh. <laughs> Here's one of the CDs, right? I'm so going to clip out of bounds again, I bet you anything. Alright, we're almost caught up again, so not too big a deal. music CD in this pile of trash somewhere? I guess I thought there was. Caution of Bestos. Oh, good. <laughs> this is a wonderful place to be. Uh, that goes somewhere interesting, but... Was, there was definitely a music CD around here. Where was it? Oh, wait. Was it, uh... It was this, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, uh... Okay. Sometimes I can break the game, I notice, by just having... Having the dialogue box just freaking break. There, fixed. Let's do this again, but this time with more correct things. I really do like how I managed to get something on a platform I wasn't supposed to be able to get anything on or even approach because it was a patch. Okay, so. Right, the spot over there. This is so fun. 
I really enjoy doing this. It's a very good time. Can you save? Nope. Whoa. Nope, no saving. Oh, I hit a little pebble. Okay, fine. No, no, no. Fucking... Ah! Okay. for fuck's sake. You know, a better game would just have it like, oh, the object is near the point where it needs to be. Pop, it'll just pop into there. So this is, this is right, right? I would, I would assume it would sit properly, but it's not. It's just... Alright, I guess that's good enough. you think it would lock to it, though. Most games would lock it, like, ah. Uh, and then that's the way you know, like, oh, it's it's in the right place. Because it locked. But I guess I just leave, I guess, whatever. I guess that's good. No, you're not. I fixed it. Yeah. Oh my god, the game doesn't even... <clears throat> that bothers me. She was like, hey, what I only have one will. If you could fix it, I'd give you many presents. So I fixed the will. Now what'd she say? Hey, I only have one will. If you could fix it, I'd give you many presents. Oh, my fucking... Come on, man. You're basically an adventure game. This is the one thing you're supposed to get right. Holy shit. Updating the dialogue is a si very simple, basic fucking thing for an adventure game. Come on. Also, where's the presents I was promised? I did that for an incentive, after all. I mean, the incentive, I guess, is the nut, too, but... So what's, uh, what's, what's this? Oh, my. Oh, they're gone now. Okay. Um. Jeez, it smells like something died. Better get a photo and scram. So this is the rotating incinerator of doom. This is man boy. It's it's certainly trying to be something, isn't it? Though. I bet the game could. I got. I bet I could break myself if I position myself just wrong. All right, I got the photo and scram. So. Caution, open pit. Not really, actually. Alright, is there anything else around here that is an anomaly I could take a photo of or something? No? Okay, I'm gonna go in here then. Whee! Oh no, it's so spooky! Alright. Caution, falls over easily. Shit, they weren't wrong. It's a wrap! Well, I can break the shit out of the physics, can't I? Hmm. Alright, anyways. It's not a serious game. <laughs> Yeah, it has some problems, though, too. Which I'm guessing is one of those... ...situations where it's not taking itself seriously, so it's okay, it thinks. I guess, they're saying. I guess let's uh, deliver the other package, then. It's over here. Huh.
What are these statues everywhere for? Also, the game will let you get off your bike if you're near an interact point, so I always have to walk over to them. Or not? Also, wh wait, why, why is my mouse on screen all of a sudden? Okay. I knew it! You know why I knew it? Because the last game had evil ham. So the moment I saw that ham, I was like, we're taking a picture of that fucking ham. Oh, it's Grimebo's Fall Festival. Come and see. Good idea, bro. Hello, ma'am. Here's a package on behalf of North Star Delivery. Ah, oh, you must be the new delivery girl. Enjoying the new wheels, are we? We're a girl. <laughs> I should have known that. Well, are you like a psychic son? Or so like a stalker and a freak? What? I'm no freak. Nicholas returned my road cone just now. Told me to expect you. Oh, that fool sweated me out of my bonus delivery money! What is with our character? Don't mind him. He's an enigma, but a good company nonetheless. Speaking about our neighbors, would you make sure to visit, make it, have a visit with Charlie, Charlie up near the old mining district? Can't imagine how lonely it gets up there for a girl her age. That uh, will do, miss. That's fine, dear. Okay, then, Beth, do you mind if I ask you some questions before I go? Shoot. Well, that's weird things. Hmm, tell you what, sometimes I'll be out on my evening st stroll and I'll see this wooden skeleton. A little grotesque, but pretty nifty, all things considered. And one day while I was passing by it, I swear I saw a twitch. I didn't want to get any closer, but by God, if it didn't scare a sock off me. Feel free to look into it, but be careful, please. What type of work do you do? Oh, this place is my own little food joint, yep. That's cool, neat even. How's the traffic in a place like this? Eh, not as busy as it used to be, though we're pretty self-sufficient, all things considered. Besides it, though, it's not really about the money. Sure, money is nice, but it's more about more than just that. The atmosphere, the smells, the steam, sometimes the money. As long as I can keep the light on, I'm happy. Dang, can't say I've had that passion yet. Don't sweat it, but you're still young. Mayhaps something in this forest will bring something out of you, perchance. Who's that guy in your garden? Oh, him? That's just my husband. He has the mind of Picasso, but the social skills of a lump of coal. Tell you what, though. If you go up to him with that new scooter of yours, I'm sure he'd paint any color you want. Really? Yeah, sure. Don't let me keep you now. Ooh, thank you, thank you. I love it's great prophecy things for other, for other people via other people. <laughs> hey, don't sweat it. I'll still be here if you have any more questions. Bye bye now. Okay, let's see. Just phase through the fence. E. Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's look for uh, anomalies again, I guess. Well, there's, whatever this is, what is this? Ah, oh, oh, okay. Yep, that seems about normal. By the way, it's not like video compression, it's just doing that. That's weird. Can I bring my scooter in here? It might be faster. Oh, uh, whatever. Maybe I should have brought the scooter. Oh well. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I don't know if the scooter could have been brought in here in the first place, though. Tree. What song is that? Peep. Peep music. Good. <laughs> I 
Wake up, have a hug dog, have a good day. It's a three-step process, very simple. Three-step process to happiness. I'd write a book about it, but it'd only be one page long. All right, time to walk out of here, I guess. I, I wish this had an auto run key. <laughs> I want to drink water, but I want to keep running. <laughs> All right. So how are you guys tonight? <laughs> Store on the other side in front of me. All right. You know, I'm a bit sleepy myself. Feeling okay, though, otherwise. Much better? That's good. I didn't know you were having trouble. But I'm glad things are improving. Such a weird song to play while in this area. I seem to be stuck on the wall, by the way, but that's fine. I'll make it work. Oh wow, my camera position actually determined how I moved. That's, that was weird. So could I have brought... I don't even know, now it's a simple scud. Oh, I, I could have! I could have brought the fucking... Okay, well, whatever. I don't know, it just looked like a place where I couldn't. That's another one of those guys. Oh, here's some more music. Uh, this one, I think. Oh, that's a very French name right there. Un autres mauvais à dire de me laisser donner. Donner? Okay, one, two, three, something. Wow, a big freaking rock with some cryptic freaking runes. What a day this is! Why does our character sound like super frustrated? Alright, let's see what this says. Landmarks these brands spark. Seek them for a big shark metaphor. The puzzle master. Okay, I need help again. Oh, you hurt, you fell in the shower and. Oh, you hurt your. Oh, did you fall in your. You caught yourself with your hand, but you hurt your hand, didn't you? I'm glad it's, I'm glad it's feeling better. You didn't break anything then in that case. Yeah, I feel you. I'm sorry to hear that, Xerix. The landmark sees brand spark. Seek them for a big shark. Okay. Well, there's. I'm stuck on the rock. I am stuck on the rock. Stuck on the rock. Okay, good. Oof, God. Okay, so clearly I need to find landmarks, and I found four out of five. <laughs> One of them's along the way to another area, so that would probably be okay. What would that would probably be? I don't know what. What? what okay, looking at this as a simple map, right? Dead end, dead end, town square area, something like that. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Clearly, I found most of the landmarks. Same statue from sound. Looks kind of looks like. No, it couldn't be. Couldn't be what?
Oh, I know. Wait, actually, I don't know. Man, I love the idea of trades. The concept, the concept intrigues us. <laughs> All right. Have we missed anything? The bird? Yeah. The, I. I mean, yeah. Probably need to trigger the bird still. Actually, I, did I? I think. I think I may have forgotten one photo. And that is. The photo that is over here. Yeah, I did. I was right. Completely forgot about that guy. Oh, that's inside our character model. All right. All right, well. I'm going to leave this right here to throw off your perfect balance of audio acoustics. Ha ha ha, I'm evil. Let's see here, what, what else? Anything, anything left with him? All right, we're done here. For the moment, at least. How we did. We have missed the eagle and the Flatwoods monster. We have everything else, though. Okay. Okay. We have strange dreams at night. One day. Well, hopefully we can get the rest of this one day. The remains. <laughs> That's it, though. Just those two. Let's start with the bird. You'd be frustrated, too, if you move that slow. That's a good point, actually. I heard that. The Flatwoods Monster, huh? Good morning, Nicholas. Hello, anyone there? Are you okay? Do I need to call like a freaking ambulance or something? I guess I'll go. That's one of the packages we had to deliver. Oh, so we put this back up. How rude. <laughs> he put it back up because he was frustrated with me. Okay, well, uh, I'll do whatever that smoke. All right, reverse is as fast as forward. Let me start this way. Oop. So that didn't, um, do you think I was right my first time? Oh shit, never mind. It's right there. Okay. <laughs> I didn't fucking notice. 
All right. Very chill bird, actually. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, hold on. I guess as long as it's broken, I guess. Um, that leaves the... Okay, wait. Does that count as the last... Was, was that the last quote-unquote landmark? If not, I need to figure out what the last landmark I'm missing is. Okay, apparently that was it. That's very similar to the Majora's Mask Aliens. And that would be all, uh, be all 13. And according to my research, I seem to have all the music. It looks like it's organized to have... It looks like I'm organized in such a way where I've done all the music, so... Right-o! It's based on the flat... The flat it's actually Flatwoods Monster. That's a real one, isn't it? Hey, Beth, here's today's package. You seem awfully happy. Something happen? Nothing big. I just think I'm getting to hang this whole new life, new life thing. That's always good to hear. Don't you feel too homesick? You don't feel too homesick, do you? Say so, anyway, I think... Renovation on the train station is about done. How do you and I take a day trip to per Perona, Perora tomorrow, and you can help me restock? Sure. Great. Meet you at the station tomorrow at nine. Okay. Tomorrow at nine. Right. This is in my notebook. Yes. Wonderful. Hey, I'll, e I'll even buy you a gift when we get there. Maybe something to put on your moped. And before you mow the is there anything you need to ask? So you ask weird. I was just packing up when a cool wind hit my face. Looked out and heard some whirring along with bright lights. Next thing you know, I'm passed out on the floor and everything's silent again. Well, that certainly is very strange. The more look at your shacks, the more it looks like a bat dog. A bat dog? You know, with the creepy eyes and stuff, I do kind of have a bat-ish look, don't I? The ears are kind of bat-like on this particular image. Your husband has an evil aura. You can tell, huh? God, he's been bugging me all night about this new plant-based metallic paint he made. So he needs to try on your moped. I swear to things that meant does to do with flowers are supernatural sometimes. Just go talk to him. Sure, it'd be good. I like how we said your husband has an evil aura. I'm like, yeah, and they're just like, yeah, I know, right? He just does. That's why I love him. <laughs> it's pretty hard. The only place the train can go. No, it also heads to the beach near here too. Tell you what, the sunrise there is like nothing you've ever seen. Thank shame the train's still down. Otherwise, we'd have gone there the first thing today. Oh well, it's something to put on the least list. The list. Quite looked at the camera, raised eyebrow, indicating this will probably be in the full game. This is gonna be a full game, huh? Hmm. Okay then. Take care. Okay. Paint it with what's this? Oh, evil, evil metallic paint. I love it. Yeah, chrome finish. I just call that again. I guess. Yay, shiny. Will full game have a save system? One would hope. Hey, I fixed your water well now that you've ever fucking noticed. Hey, it's me again, another package. Oh, welcome back. Oh, no hacker voice this time. Ah, <laughs> that's a trick to keep the evil tax auditors away. Want me to put a package in the bucket? Yeah, it's chill, it's chill. Got you another gift, too. Yo, thanks. Yeah, it is what it is. Sorry, can you hear me? Yeah, you cut off for a sec. Yeah, my whole system's been buggy since this morning. Are there any questions before you go, by the way? Anything else weird? You know, just keeping on down low. I'm kind of worried about Beth. Huh, is something happening to her? I don't know. She comes over sometimes to give me snack. She hasn't been around like, recently. She has not given me snack recently. I need snack to sustain myself. I don't want to sound superstitious, but that's where she's in is evil. Can't be good for her. These trees are an illusion. That's all I know right now. Something dark is lurking in the desk. I see you. Thanks. Something fell off. Off? How do you mean? You know, something just doesn't feel right. Nicholas wouldn't say a single word to me this morning. He just kept staring, like, straight through me. I'm sure it's nothing, lol. It's probably just your homesickness kicking in. You might be reading into much too into him. It's in, into too much into him. He's a weird guy. Maybe, but still. That's all, I guess. Goodbye. Alright. I never got a reward for... Oh, I got another peep, though. I got double peep. If you pay attention, they vibrate. All right. All right. That hatch is probably going to be important later, isn't it?
Boop. Oh, I guess that's that. Good dog does deserve lots of snacks. Yes. Why dogs want snack, but dogs is snack. Snack exception, though. Both are true statements. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Alright, they're all caught. Let's end this. <laughs> oh. The potatoes are white. Alright. This is definitely a dimension of evil. What? I found something in the fridge. It was the shadowy remains of children. What? <laughs> are these me? I think they're me. I see. Oh, he's pushing them. That's not very nice at all. There appears to be a hole here. Hmm. Olsev. <laughs> hands off the puzzle hands of the puzzle master oh okay I have learned something I can run faster by side strafing I can run much faster by side strafing so that's how we're gonna move now impressive <laughs> 65, 68, 65, CC, 6C, 6C, 6F, oh wait, is that like a, oh, this is like a hex code. Mouth of the Puzzle Master, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about decoding it, I'm sorry. Okay. Pretty sure these are all ciphers. I have the puzzle master. So we found the hand, eye, and mouth of the puzzle master. Now the sphincter of the puzzle master. Good. Uh. Okay. Okay, it's a it's the Baba Yaga house. <laughs> house of chicken. I see Baba Yaga. Yeah. And I fucking awesome. No, that's good I to know. Magic. I hate flowers and love. You love like love or you hate love? Into my room. Now I'm going to kill you like I squish it against with my thumb. Oh, okay. You have no weapon because I am evil. <laughs> okay. Oh crud. It may seem that I have been stupid this time. Nevertheless, time for us to scrimmage. Oh, okay. Warning, you cannot leave. Nicholas is still trapped. Uh, okay. No damn mice. Which is me. I am going to stick my finger on you. Alright. Oh, I have. I see, I have music that's good. 
Yeah, I agree. Like, what is the song? Oh, time flies, then I can stay on you and What is our character ball? You can kind of tell if you want. Oh, okay. Oh, crud. The fuck is going on? <laughs> Do you ever see the mountain sea towering up above our school? Did you ever feel the mountain so racing fast, way past the wall? Um. My son has grown so vastly tall. My daughter dancing at the ball. Yeah. Gown so pretty, I no longer frowned so many. I have become old and wise, mind of one million guys. I feel the flight of one million flies, raising through a trillion night skies. Oh how the flies grow size and die in demise. When I was a boy, I saw cannonballs flies into some big army guys in disguise. My heart would grow to do Thank you for playing the demo! I you're, you're welcome. The I I like the other one. I like the pre <laughs> I think the previous game was a bit better. But this I mean this wasn't like the, this was better than the first game because you could actually play it. Um, what the hell, man? <laughs> I don't know the the mood of this game. I can't pin it down at all. It's such a weird fucking mood this game has. Like, not even just the ending, the whole thing has a weird fucking mood. Textures by textures.com. Well, that. Didn't even know that site existed. That's such a simple site name. Probably gonna go work on Skill Plus Plea Adventures. At well, you have fun with that, but. I mean, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It was just. Huh. It's very ha. Huh. <laughs> okay, why? <laughs> All right. Um, okay then. And we're back to the wall. It just kicked me. Right then. Certainly was an experience, I'll give you that. <laughs> um, alright, well, we've cleared a whole three games so far this in this... Well, we also did the hub as a whole, too. Um, so I guess you could say four. But, we have time for one more. Where, are we, where will we continue? Let's see. There's multiple paths, of course. We have... Oh, you know what? We're gonna end with Enchain. That sounds like a great idea. And by end, I mean end today's stream. Next Friday, we'll have even more games. Let's go to Enchain. This is a game I am fully aware of being a good game. Because I actually personally played the demo after hearing about it. Um, and I was like, hell, hell yeah. And then I played it and I was like, hell yeah. Enchain, a frenetic FPS adventure inspired by Dark Souls and Quake. And that's actually a good way to put it, yeah. Uncover a deprived world with hidden paths, secret artifacts, and monstrous enemies. This game. I wonder if I could I wonder if I could turn down the volume again. That last game was very quiet, so this game might not be quiet. Also, knowing how long the Enchain demo I played was. Ah, oh, this might be a new demo though. It might be longer. I'm not sure. Oh, that's louder. Okay, I can turn it down again. Probably. Alright, there we go. Uh, I can probably do ultra quality. Or, let's do high. Huh, there's probably a continue, because it probably has my progress saved from last time. But we'll start fresh. So this one... This one's a cool one, guys. Let me know how the volume is. Enchain is, <clears throat> how to put it, 
I was actually tempted to show off this demo to you guys when I just simply checked it on Steam. I was tempted to show off the demo right then and there, like just by itself, but yeah, try to check out a compilation. Let's see, I need to turn down, here it is. Sensitivity was always high. I think that was always the case. Much better. So, in chain. Oh, I noticed actually. Zero of eight. Ooh, I don't think there was a tracker before, so this must be a newer demo than the one I played. So in a chain, we play as Guy, who is possibly, probably undead. I think we're undead. Yeah, we're gonna be looking at us. So, we are going to go around, and we need to unlock the store. That's our key objective. So, to do that, we can wall jump. But hold control to crouch. Yep. This is a good game. This is definitely a good game. So let's run through. See this? It's a lantern. We can grab onto things with this. Basically, this is like a grapple mechanic, but also we can pull off things like that. Basically, it's like a physics mechanic of sorts. You can grapple, R to tab while grappling, pull. That's right, it's R plus tab. R tab, release. Okay, how it works. Oh. It's actually very unique how it controls. But this is our weapon. So And you actually have to do this to kill enemies. I believe that they will just get back up unless you uh, throw them around, basically. And yeah, you gotta juggle them. Of course, you can also juggle them into each other if I mess it up there, but... Can be a little tricky to juggle. Gotta pay attention. Hold R tab to spin links to replenish help. Yeah, that's right, that's what you could do with that. I didn't get hit though, so I don't need to. Basically, does play like Quake, Dark Souls, and a grapple mechanic. It's really interesting. Oh yeah, you can. So. Yeah, it's it's, it's important to get used to the controls, which is it is tricky. R is important. So basically you have to hold down the right click to grapple. And if you let go, you stop grappling. But while holding down the grapple, you can press R to then um, 
you know, pick, get them close and then do something else with them, so. Also, you can absolutely, well, I know you can use the grapple to also, oh, that's right. You grapple certain things in the environment, not everything, but certain things. And if you grapple certain things, while moving in the air, you can uh, do stuff like that. And then fuck it up. <laughs> it's all a matter of managing your momentum, basically. A lot of lot of stuff you can do with this if you're smart. It's hard to do it correctly though, admittedly. Takes some uh, getting used to. If you get you. <laughs> The movement is super fast, which is both a blessing and a curse. Oh yeah, it can also slide. I forgot about that. There we go. I have collected one of the eight yellow things. Hooray. Now we're here. Oh yeah, I can't pick those up. I thought you could. All right, let's get up here. So we're looking for numerous things. But these are, to start with, these would be a good thing to start. If I recall correctly, there's a puzzle later on that just confuses the shit out of me, too. Oh yeah, there's also a gun. <laughs> if we can get to it. I recall this puzzle when I played the demo previously that just completely destroyed my brain. I eventually did solve it, but I don't remember how. So, just gonna have to relearn that one. Hold RB to grapple wood, then move to swing. Yep. That's breakable, by the way, but not yet. Grappling R plus tab or RMB. Oh, that's right. That's how you do it. Grab that. Easier way of doing things sometimes. Also, the volume. The volume is good, right? Grab and pull that post to mark your resting place. I think that respawns enemies. Because, you know, Dark Souls. Ah. That's a shortcut. Apparently, <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> Thought he would. <laughs> and the guy, the grapple is a little tricky to use unless you get really good at it. But it's okay. <laughs> Requires one full key. I don't have a full key yet, so no good for that. I recall this is a trap. See? Told ya. Let's go down though, anyways. Cuz it's a good trap. God. 
Don't have don't have any bolts though. Not yet, anyways. Hold R plus tab while target his hand to harvest ammo. And now there's ammo. Basically, you turn him into an ammo monster, and then he drops ammo instead of uh, the usual hearts or health recovery. Good shit. <laughs> Cost links, yes. So either you get links for them or you use it, the links to make ammo. And by ammo, you can break shit. So, you know, good stuff. This was an earlier room we were in. I do not believe... Actually, hold on. I thought it was... Oh, whoops. I thought it was... Whoops, I didn't mean to shoot. <laughs> oh yeah, it is, it is, it is R. It's just, you have to be a certain distance away. I forgot about that. Okay. There we go. If I recall correctly, though... I'll just go through here. Or, actually, no, 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 there was one at the beginning. Just remembered. Oh, hi, guys. <laughs> By the way, you could also do that. <laughs> little, little revolver spinny flourish thing. <laughs> Kinda waste ammo, though. have trouble doing the double you have to like double click the grapple to get um things hooked correctly it can be a little tricky Ow. Yeah, your best, your your rabble less hurts the enemy and more just what's the word? Oh yeah, by the way, when our you notice the links? When you don't have links, you don't have light. Huh. I think it's kind of interesting. Why not? Hmm. Strange. All right, never mind that. Now I have some light. Gotta balance it out. Ammo's good, but you need light too. Also, yeah, there's just a grab. There's just a grab limit to the to the lantern. That's basically what we're seeing here. If you don't meet that, if you overdo the grab, then you just don't you don't get to do much of it. So if you want to pull yourself in, you gotta be close enough. All right. Anyways, there.
Got a little bit of a healing. All right, so uh, let's see where to go now. Wow. He saved the other guy by shooting him with a fireball. That was weird. There we go. <laughs> Alright. I do have a full key, so we can now open this. Excellent. I think that's the only direction to go. Yeah. Making sure. I know this game has secrets, I just don't remember where they are. Hooray! Oh yeah. Yeah, you could do a little dive, forgot about that. A little complicated, you have to be in the air, hold left shift, and then press space, in that order. Helps, though. Gets you into new places. Anyways, we can get in that little... Ah, oh, yes, there's, there's, uh, flaming skulls over there. That's all you, that's all how you get in there, I believe. Alright. Yeah, the parkour system in this is... I'm not very good at it, but it's really complex, and there's actually a lot you can do with it. It's pretty fun. So if I do that dive here as well, then I have enough room to get over there. There we go. Now we're here, which some are resistant. Lantern grabs and throws. Try using guns or kicks F to launch. Oh, I can kick. Wait, can I kick? How do I do that? <laughs> Barrel man, he's very dangerous. But yes, it's true, he's hard to destroy. Not impossible though, as you see. Alright, let's see here. Ah, yes, verb. If I recall correctly, this didn't kill me the first time I fought it. I don't remember how to kill it. <laughs> That's how. Apparently. Oh shit, there's more. it is. Died in that room last time too. Not surprised. <laughs> I believe reviving saves your progress, but of course you go back. Links up again. 
Ammo could be a secondary concern. Anyways, where were we? Uh, right, over here. I think it was in there, right? Actually, it was entirely an optional path, yeah. No wonder it's difficult. Ah. Kick the wall back, accident. So anyways, uh, yeah, the winged guys, I don't really quite remember the, what, what I'm doing to kill them. I think, like most enemies, you have to hit them against the wall, essentially. I think it just takes more hits for them. Like, for instance, barrel guy takes two there, as you notice. So I believe the burb just kind of works the same way, I want to say. Also, yes, you can absolutely recollect. Ow, my fucking god. I guess shooting them also works. I have some ammo. Oh, good. you can collect things by just grappling them. I forgot about that. Hell yeah. yeah I think, I think uh, the more difficult enemies might be better just to... Uh, Out of him a bit. <laughs> Come here. For fuck's sake. All right. All right. Good. Oh, those are those are just lanterns. They don't matter. Not, they're not my lanterns, so they don't matter. Oh. Yeah, I don't I don't remember the minigun, I'll be honest with you. Not well, bad this now. Oh so yes, wall jump time. And this is the secret I never understood. This one right here. I understand it now. Oh, I'm out of ammo. <laughs> That's fine. Ah, skulls. Everything's fine. Shut up. Where's this go? Same room. Okay. Right, so this thing. That's a health increase. Now, where did that terrible person go? There he is. <laughs> Hey, here, would you like this? Hold on, this, ba this barrel man needs to stop. He's harshing my groove. 
There we go. <laughs> also, we stab ourselves with Lantern to heal, if you can't tell. Best way to do it. Okay, if I'm not going to be interrupted by any more enemies, I'm going to focus on this guy now. Sheesh. All right. Yeah, it's all about impacts, if you can't tell. This guy's up there. Yeah. Da da da. Come down here. Aha! I have him now! Alright, good. Hey, yes, this, this, is, this game could be a bit tricky to play. For fuck's sake, man. You know what? I'm gonna, uh, sir. I'm gonna come right up to you. You're causing me a great deal of annoyance. Hello. Give me some better. There we go. Okay. Anyways. All right. We're good. I think we're done with this room. Oh, we're back here. Okay. Ah, this is the start of the game, actually. Ah, right. This. Oh, this mechanic. Okay. This. This is a tricky one, this one. So, this one is about... Game of a... Actually, I made that easy... That was actually not as hard as I thought it was. <laughs> Never mind. gonna go the long way around for a simple reason we never went the quote-unquote proper way in this room so may as well do so now which was over here so yeah I don't know if you if you like what you see this is a pretty good game and I do I do actually look forward to seeing this one fully release I don't even really about like quake style movement and stuff either.
Jerks. It is a little hard to hit enemies from other enemies. Sometimes I just hit the wall or the floor instead. It's one thing that I do find a little frustrating, but... Ammo. Yeah, it can be a little hard to aim. Can be a little hard to aim. It does have decent tracking, though. Like, it is kind of easy to hit things, at least. Alright. There we go. Okay. Let's see, where did I come from? Actually kind of lost track. <laughs> Stronger posts will have layers need to be launched more than once. Yep. This is true. Let's see. I don't think I've been... That's where I came from. Where I need to go is right up here. That's another piece of that. Hey, Tubby. All right, let's go this way. Enemies are best still live with a gun. Stronger enemies also give more ammo if you turn them into ammo, which is nice. Let's bring us back to. I don't know what room this is, but it's one I've been in, so let's continue. The only thing this game really could use is some, some music. You know, could use a, could use a few tunes. I feel. Ah, <laughs> for almost proud of this one. So that's a sneaky one, a little bit. Excellent. This is back to the entrance room. Yep, back to the entrance room. Right, we're almost done. We need one more key. What's I think so? I need one more key. Or am I good? I might be good actually. Ah, right. I have I haven't opened up all the paths in here. I forgot this. 
I also forgot that I haven't done this. Which... Right, to get up that, I need to be a little smarter. Okay, now that I'm up here... Nice. Wait, is there anything up here or was this completely pointless? Okay, never mind then, I guess I was wrong. Anyways, in here now, though. Oh, I think I know where this goes, actually. Uh, to put it very simply, I don't think I need to go this way. Well, let's go anyways. Or rather, I think I do need to go this way, but not yet. Oh, pfft. You're working yourself stuck, Charm. All right. This goes to the Great Chasm. It's a new area. We're not going to go there just yet. You can get back out. It's just... You can get back up, I mean. It's just a little annoying. You can get back up, it's just a little annoying. <laughs> you can't really grapple up, sadly. Yeah, we're not actually done up there. I, I remember this specifically. At least I'm pretty sure. Oh. Nope. Nope. No, don't take me alive. <laughs> Yeah, so we need to unlock the door. <laughs> we can do that without going to the Great Chasm, if I if I recall correctly. Damn. I understand. You know what? Fuck it. We'll go to the Great Chasm. I don't care. <laughs> Oh, that's how you kick. That's how you. All oh, right, that's that was the trick. That's how you get out of this. That's the, that's the way to climb back up easily. <laughs> Forgot about this. Kicking's weird, though. You can get a lot of height with it, but it's kind of weird to time. Well, obviously it works, but... Back up, back up. <laughs> Anyways, let's open that door. Or can I open the door? I think I can. Hmm, maybe not. Three keys needed, right. Uh, 
Oh, that's where it was. Okay, never mind. I was dumb, don't mind me. There's another piece. Okay. So anyways, I'm pretty damn certain that you can get all, you get enough pieces for another key up here. I just don't remember where. They're in this area though. Chasm can be visited now if we want to, but I remember enough to know that I don't have to go there just yet. Nor should I really go there just yet. Because, well, there's something behind that door that we want. is I don't really remember I don't remember where to go actually Yeah, this is one of those Metrovias that, like, really severely hides everything from you. <laughs> but, like, not in an unfair way. You just have to pay attention. Why is he, why is this even here? What is this? Okay. Oh, here we go. We haven't been in this area. Yeah, this is, oh wait, this is the last one. We're done. We did it, I think. Uh, assuming I don't die, of course. Uh, let's see. Well, okay, I fed all eights of in this area actually, so. Oh. How do I do that? <laughs> I'll take it. So it looks like actually I can't make a full key ring without going to. Okay, fair enough. I guess I am forced to go to the next area then. Yeah, we found everything in the Crypt of Descent, so... Right, let's move on. Uh, let's see, where is the way forward from here? And... 
I don't actually remember. That's the start room. Damn it. So what's everybody doing? Well, I guess I asked that earlier, but... They're stuck on some real knowledge here, otherwise we're gonna get murdered by ghosts. They're very true. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. That doesn't go anywhere anyways, I was just trying to fuck around. Alright, let's see. Nice, that's what I was hoping to do. Yeah, if you hit an, if you hit an enemy, you convert to ammo. With another enemy, that, that can happen. Okay, now we just gotta get back to the main hub area. Which, uh... That's yeah, somewhere around here. I, I think I actually softlocked this passage. <laughs> this is just in the way now. So that's kind of neat. I did Tucker Redeem. Oh, you did? Let's see. Okay, let's see what. I've heard of yanking someone's chain, but this is ridiculous. Uh, he's just as fast as knocked out. <laughs> nice reference to Poker all there. There, caught up a different way. Taking the most circuitous route just to get back to where I want to go. Ah! Mine. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Yeah, where the fuck am I going? Sweet. Holy shit. <laughs> Everybody is very mad. All right. Uh, okay, finally. All right, good. I made it back. So, we got to drop down here first. Turns out I, I was wrong. We do have to do some of this area. At least we have to do enough to get a key. Once we get a key, we can go back up. We have two parts of the key right now. The Red Chasm... Is outside and kind of a bigger deal than the previous area we just said. Also, has these guys. They do rocks. Because they have a shovel, you see. Oh, by the way, it's not lying. There is a fucking chasm. So, you gotta be careful about that. Move into wall surface in air to wall run. Right. You can actually do quite the wall run, too. Yeah, this is, uh. Oops, too much. So, you can see. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Let's get some healing. Alright. Uh, I think... I believe... Thank <laughs> you. 
Nope. Ow. Not an instant death, at least. If I recall correctly, if you're really insane, you can climb pretty much anything you want uh, with the right movement. You can also face through walls. Hello. Well, I guess he's dealt with. Um. There, now we have three proper keys. One thing I like about this area, I, when I played the demo originally, was if you think you can go somewhere, you're right, you can. It's kind of a fun thing about it. Throw a lantern RB, RB while crouching to cancel fall. Wait, what? Throw a lantern R, R, right mouse my wall crouching to cancel fall. Oh, yeah, you float in the air for a second. That's kind of weird. If I recall correctly, I learned one thing when I was playing the demo last time. No, you still need two walls. If you have two walls that are kind of close to each other, you can wall jump. Pretty much endlessly. Alright, so... Stop setting yourself with ladders, that can't be healthy. Actually, it is. That's exactly why I'm doing it. Alright, let's go back up here. Now we have a proper full key. Great Chasm is five keys, right? Okay. Remember how we released that giant hand, by the way? For those of you paying attention. Yeah, what was that about, huh? Tell you what it is about. There, now as we've opened the door. It's the hand of the child. Damage on it. I think I did. Oh, 
shit. That attack's hard to dodge. The key here is basically to use ammo, by the way. Which of course means finding the time to do stuff like that. <laughs> Make more ammo. Uh oh. There. <laughs> We've done it. <laughs> So yeah, I like it. It's kind of a stagger mechanic, kind of like, uh, fucking, what was the FromSoft game that had about, had, was kind of focused on stagger bars? Sekiro, right? Yeah. Very, very, very much like, kind of like Sekiro style, actually. Never play Sekiro, if, if it isn't obvious, but. Alright, let's go in here. I don't know what's in here. What is in here? It's uh, a good fucking question. Oh, it's another area. The Wooded Haven. Right, I forgot there was three areas in the original demo. Well, let's go back to the chasm for a bit. I forgot that area was actually effectively mostly optional. Uh... Oh, okay, <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> what am I, what am, what's wrong here? Looks like you had the upper hand, you were, the game gave you a big hand. Sometimes your jokes are bad, I don't think you want to face palm right now. Oh, you guys, what is with hand puns? Why are they so easy to make? But I can count, I can count on one hand how many times it's actually funny. <laughs> Alright, let's go up this way. I don't think I was supposed to be able to do it for that angle, but hey, you know, it's fine. Baseball on wall to wall jump. And if I recall correctly, there's a secret. There's a secret over here. There is. How do I get to it? I need to get up higher, actually. All right. Thankfully, damage is not too big a deal when it comes to falling. It's just like, oh well. There we go. Where am I? Dry Falls, okay. Crypt of Descent? Wait, what? Oh! Shortcut! I completely forgot that was a thing. Alright. Yay, a key. That's another one down. That's the main thing we're looking for. We're just waiting to get all the keys. 
We're at two of five now. All right, let's see. What do the keys do? They open things. Uh, all right, here we go. You might have noticed. There's something over there. Ow. <laughs> okay. Uh, so to get that, that's going to require cleverness. Really the easiest way to do this is probably to do what I recall doing a long time ago. The keys opened the door to the big hand boss. Uh, I don't know if you were there for that. But that was pretty exciting. <laughs> and again, it, it has a very secure feel, this game, especially when it comes to the boss fights. But uh, yeah, what I need to do, I think I can do it over here. I think you can do it pretty much anywhere as long as you have a little persistence. Yeah, I think I can do it right here. With the right timing, Can absolutely wall climb from even a position like this. Yeah, yeah, that's how I remember how to do it. I, I like I don't remember the technique for it exactly, but <laughs> I know it's possible to wall climb even here. It may not seem like progress, but the tighter the wall, obviously, the easier it is. But I think I can do it right here. There's an annoying triangle above me, though. Ah. I don't quite remember the timing. I just know it's possible. I remember I remember when I was, got good at the game's mechanics a long time ago when I played the demo previously. I was able to climb pretty much anything I wanted. <laughs> By just doing something like this. This is actually making progress as much as it doesn't seem like it. I think it is. Actually, it's hard to tell. Ah, God damn it! no. How did I do it last time? Well, anyways. Ammo, please. Thank you. All right, I think, uh... It might have actually been here. Let me see. It was... Oh, right. I, I think I remember. It was getting up that area, and then, uh, or was it that? Oh my, I don't remember now. Screw off. <laughs> That'll do. It's hard to remember all the controls. <laughs> I 
Okay. Or just managing to get up on things you want to get up on is can be itself a challenge sometimes. If I can get up on this, like if I can get up on this, god damn it. There. Fuck. Oh well. <laughs> There we go. Okay. By getting back up here. Oh, he doesn't give me a bit more ammo, but now I can do the stupid thing. You want to see the stupid thing? I think I think it was here. I, th I believe it was here I did the stupid thing. So, here's the stupid thing. So you go here, and then you just kind of hang out here, because this is a tight enough corner that you can actually climb it, I think, if I recall. I'm not so sure about that statement. How did I do it, though? There was like a trick to it. There was like a trick to it. I don't know. Am I going up higher? Hmm. Really hard to tell. I didn't actually know you went to take a nap. I hope it was a nice nap. I, I think this is... I don't know. Anyways, if I climb to the very top, then I could easily get to that one secret that is... I think you can get to with a wall slide too, but I don't really know how to pull it off. Uh oh. Game, please. I don't even know if I'm gaining height. It's really hard to tell. <laughs> I don't think I am, but I really can't tell. Like, do I keep persisting or do I just give up? I don't think, if I was getting height, I was very slow. Ah, if I could only remember my trick. There's a way I did it that really worked. Really, really did, but I don't remember. I Maybe they patched it so it doesn't work so well now. It's possible. But if they patched it, then that would mean I would have to get through that legitimately. Anyways, we need to go that way. But, uh... Before I do... Stab. Ah, oh, good. I'm glad the slowdown of healing actually messed up my jump. Uh, using a weapon to, sh like, give yourself momentum? I don't know if that's a mechanic. I'm trying to remember. Like, that's a thought, certainly.
Wait a minute. No, no, that wasn't it. But you know, there's there is something over there. I recall very specifically. I'm not wrong about wanting to investigate there. Like there, there is something there. Like hands down. You may also notice there's a castle up here. You can't actually reach it by normal means. Uh, it does exist, but it's not. It is not for your hands. All right, let me uh, let me try this again. Yeah, see, there's a key there. I'm not crazy. There's a reason to go there. You just need to do a better wall slide than I did. All right. There! dead but i got it so that's what matters god okay i guess it was all about wall sliding then oh no it respawned me here <laughs> so uh yeah i'm supposed to get those all right Thank God. Okay. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Keep messing this up. Damn it. Oh, I spawned here. Oh, thank God. Okay. That's not so bad. Right. Okay, we're back. <laughs> yeah, the parkour in this is kind of fucking insane, isn't it? Anyways, three of five. The other two, I think, are across the way. So let's cross the street. Now, I don't know if this demo of Enchange actually ends in the same place the other one did. If it does, we're kind of getting close to the end. If it does it, then I don't know, man. It could be longer than I think. Okay. Here's a shotgun. That's pretty good. You know what? Yeah, here. I don't want to see your face again. Here lies the child, by the way. Excuse me.
I sure showed that guy. Right. I think you get ammo for whatever weapon you have selected. By the time you select to get the ammo. Stand up, I dare you. Damn it. Alright, let's pull him down, it's fine. If you can't tell, they have kind of a good position on me because I can't do much to them there. There we go. Okay. Ow. I have stunned enough to not shoot me. Alright, there we go. Okay. Now that we've done all that. Uh, pull the switch and we can leave now, but... Uh, let's go ahead and grapple up to this. So let's go ahead and grapple up to this. The only problem with the movement is sometimes it's so crazy that it's hard to land anywhere. Okay. I don't think I can actually do anything to these. Alright, never mind. I am I am a bit sleepy, yeah. You could say so. I'm okay, though. Alright, there should be two more keys over around here. Let's look. Summer resistance, latch and grabs and throws trays into the yeah. There we go. Honestly, though, it's pretty fun game. Ah, this guy. Come on. Finally. Yeah, when they have the high ground, it's just kind of awkward to build. All right. I think I just gotta jump in that. <laughs> yep. That's how it's done, my friends. Yeah, I'm pretty tired. Don't worry about it, though. We'll end after this game. There is something up there, by the way. Is just another enemy, or is it something? I don't remember. Guess we'll find out. Ah, it's a gun. Damn it, messed this up. The parkour system is actually really good. It just takes some effort to get used to. Can I learn how you do your little double jump? I guess you could call it that. Nice. Okay. Honestly, it was just an a it was just an ammo refill, but I still wanted it. Now we have one last objective.
in this area. Then we go to the marsh, which if I recall correctly, if, if this is an identical demo to the one I played, the marsh will not take very long at all to explore. It's kind of a preview area, I, said, I suppose you could call it. Uh, but we have one more, let's see here, can I, can I just like, no, that's too high up, okay. I pick him up because he's just stuck. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. Hold down left mouse button to charge gun. I did know that. Now let's see. What's it? I think it only works with. Oh, it does work with this. What does happens if I. Oh, so I see if it did me a bit of a, you know, launch, but no, it doesn't, so. Worth checking. Higher, there is more. To get even higher, I need to do this. Whoop, I messed it up. Actually, so I could do it right here, couldn't I? Well, kind of, but I kind of messed it up too. Oh well, whatever. Over here is a lantern. So yay. And however respawn all the enemies. So that was maybe not the best time to do that, but whatever. Okay. <laughs> Just pick up room. Um, okay, so here I need to do... Okay, good. And then, if I'm careful... There. There. That's five of five. Oof, all right. Now, I do know that there is a secret out of bounds. I don't think I'm gonna be showing it to you guys. Uh, probably at least, because I, uh, don't apparently remember how to do the proper wall jumping trick. Maybe there was just a very specific spot, I don't remember. Oh shit, he lived. So basically, if I get to the top of this, there's a secret. If I just get to the fucking top, right? Like, all the fucking way. It's, uh... Well, it's not impossible. But it requires a level of parkour expertise that apparently I have forgotten how to do. But yeah, on top of this cliff is a secret. Um, it's just for people who are insane, but, you know. Excuse me. Yeah, I believe the I believe the place I did it last time I did it was uh, on that over there, kind of around where I tried to jump up the wall, but not that spot. So somewhere with a bit of a tighter corner. There was a place of a tighter corner that I used the. But then how did I get over on this side? I don't even remember. 
Anyways, it's completely the optional secret. So I'll probably just skip it. Let's go to the next area. This area was just basically for keys. There's no boss here as far as I know. At least there wasn't in the original demo. And doesn't seem to be now. So, that leaves one area to go. And that is, of course, the area right up here. The problem with Enchain is that it feels kind of boring between moments. The lack of music was one thing I had a problem with with the original demo. And that still holds true here. Like, it just, it could use a few tunes, or at least more atmospheric sounds, I suppose. a little too quiet. It's like the gameplay is great, but the gameplay is the game's a little too quiet. So let's go out here. Bonewood marshes. I do believe this stuff hurts you. The child leaves. He has one hand left. Yeah, here it is. The end of chat. So it is the exact same demo. Okay. This is the demo end, and this area is basically just a preview, which doesn't have anything in it yet. I mean, you can look around a bit. So there you go. Hello. So it's an intriguing game. I'm, I'm curious where they'll go with it. It's a little disappointing to see that the demo they included in the uh, in this in this was not like some sort of update demo. It seems to be an identical demo to the one I played. Nothing wrong with that. Just an observation. Secret. Except for not really. But yeah, it's, it's 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 got kind of a weird Quake Dark Souls mix to it. I would say Dark Souls, but with parkour, but that's kind of Sekiro. This is, however, arguably more parkour, so... Excuse me. Get out of here. Try and do something here. This area can be explored somewhat. There's really nothing to find, per se. I mean, there's like, this lantern right there. And so you can climb up this way. But it's not, I don't think there's really anything in particular to find. There's something on top of the church, if you want to... How the hell do I even climb up there? I don't even remember. Oh, yeah, I think the top of the trees have things. If you're insane at climbing. Again, you can do some really insane climbing tricks. I don't think they're going to be required or anything for anything important, but... Uh, you can certainly do some crazy climbing if you try. That's a thing. I don't think I know what that is, actually. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good game, but it has the problem of basically having way too many moments where nothing is happening and due to the lack of, like, music or anything. I don't definitely feel like this game could use for constant music. I know Dark Souls avoids using music, but I, there's a lot more atmosphericness to Dark Souls as well. Uh, so I would say that this game could really actually use some soundtrack to back the moments it has. Excuse me. Are you fucking... Are you fucking for real right now? That was a skull. What a jerk. He just, all he did was knock me off. <laughs> mm. 
know what I think about what you did? It's less effective than I would hope it would be. Well, he's gone. I wonder if I would have a better time doing the jump from right here. I'm trying to tell, actually. It might be easier from here, actually. Blah. I'll see you from here. Ah. What is this? <laughs> Let's kill an enemy of it. Okay. This is unfinished. Oh yeah, good good to know. <laughs> it's a T twenty. I guess. I don't really know. It doesn't do much. Yeah, this, this swamp, there's literally no reason to explore it, so... I think I'm done. It's nice that I got a chance to show off in chain. I meant to just play it standalone, but yeah, play it as part of this set makes sense. I really think I could go places, but it really needs to, like, figure out its pacing a bit better, you know what I mean? Like, that's the one problem. Its pacing just doesn't quite work in my book. But I see something really good in this, you know? Just needs a bit of work. Just want some room. <laughs> Oh, no collision. All right. How the... Yeah, I guess I... I guess it's one of those do the stupid wall climb I was trying to do earlier or don't get up there <laughs> moments. Ah. But you're meant to get up here. But I don't feel like doing the park. I'm just kind of tired too, so it's hard to do parkour right now. In any case, yeah, I recommend checking, kind of keeping an eye on this one. It is on Steam right now as a demo. You can check it out for yourself if you see the movement and want to try it out for yourself. And honestly, you can play it a lot better than I can. I am not exactly a Twitch fast paced, uh, heavy combo put button parkour person. <laughs> But some people are, so they probably would have even more of a smooth time with this. Uh, all the same, it's playable regardless of your skill levels, but yeah, and Shane's a good one. But with that being said, I do believe that is enough for the uh, for the haunted PS1 demo disc Spectrum Mall for today. Part one, you could say this. Uh, we're going to continue, obviously, we have a lot more demos. We've only checked out four, so. We've done the main fountain room and just one off the side, so. I guess next time we'll be checking out Fear the Spotlight. The thing, thing I still don't know the name of because I can't read this. And then whatever's on the other wing, as well as deeper in, depending on how, many, how long these demos are. These are all pretty meaty demos, so, you know, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. But yeah, next time also be knighted. Perlin Festival. 
and future reality. As well as probably more stuff. We'll see. And I've already unlocked the mini games as well. So, or the the secret games, which have there's two of one on the TV and then one in the uh, arcade cabinet. So, we also have access to the secret games. I assume it's just those two this year, but who knows? Maybe we'll find out once we beat all the others. But in the case, I think that calls it for now. The haunted PS1 demo disc Spectral Mall. We'll continue this next full moon Friday. As in next Friday. It won't actually be a full moon that time. Too bad, but that's okay. We can still have a full moon Friday regardless. So we'll be checking that out further next Friday. I hope you guys enjoy, enjoyed this uh, stream. And uh, yeah, look forward to next Friday for more spooky games. Maybe some more actually spooky games. Because I noticed that these games weren't really all that spooky for the most part. I mean, the first one was, but that was a slideshow. So... <laughs> But yeah, hopefully we'll run to more actually scary stuff next time. We'll see. But uh, that was the Haunted PS1 Demodist Spectrum Mall Part 1. I'll see you guys soon for Part 2.